Well, hey there, fellas. Nerd alert. Don't you think I look nice? I'm blocking harmful blue light. From entering my eye holes. What's wrong with that? You need to shave the stubble. Okay, I don't like that the first few messages in the chat are all about my appearance. Hi, nice to see you too. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, dude. I thought you were going to get a haircut, bud. Oh, you're going to feel so bad when you find out why I didn't. You're going to feel so bad. You will be ashamed of your words and deeds. You are going to feel so bad in a second. Oh my God, dude. Why do I have to shave? Why don't you? Why can't it look nice? I think it looks nice. I think it looks pretty good. Can I say something about the streamer? Only if it's nice. Shit's getting long, dude. This is me not showering today. It gets all fucking weird. Handsome streamer. That's what I'm saying. See, I look like a very handsome young man. I well, <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. Tony has changed a lot since playing F Zero. Yeah, you think I've just been on that twenty four seven constantly? Hey, a uh, big blessing to the person in the Discord that uh, that put in the content ideas the fact that uh, the Madden. Uh, hold on. That Madden gift shit is back. <laughs> the Madden Gifferator. Bro, look at him go. Bro is zooming. Lift off! <laughs> oh, hell yeah, man. Amazing. I love this thing. It's back. You can make whatever you want. Uh, just go to Madden Gifferator. It's, I don't know if they took it off or what. But it's, it says Madden 15. Who's wearing deodorant? This guy. Kick. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let it go. Like Elsa. <laughs> that was eight years ago, by the way. Two pizzas, please. I just love these. I'm going to keep making these. They're <laughs> after my lucky chair. I, I love these so much. I really do. This is fantastic. You're going to be seeing a lot of these from me, I think. It's going to be great. Dude, so this is from 2014, right? Almost a decade ago. Is it? Is it the same one? I don't think so, right? Because it says Project Showcase. This isn't still Madden, is it? Like, I'm actually... I, why is this back? You know what I mean? Why would they bring it back? <laughs> My favorite is I like, can't stop running or I'll drown. Gino and the Jets. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. <laughs> this is really good. Th these are fantastic. <laughs> You've changed. I cannot wait to use these every stream. I am so happy these are back. Liftoff is one of my favorite gifts ever made. This was a very old one that came from, uh, <laughs> that came, it, it was posted in our Discord, and I can't, I fucking love Liftoff. <laughs> it's so good, man. Happy Sunday, everybody. Oh, so the reason that I said that you were going to be ashamed, are you ready? So here's the thing. Okay. Here's what happened today. Um, I was going to go get a haircut today. My wife was going to drop uh, our kid off at her grandparents, as per usual, right? Sunday with uh, Nanny and Pop Pop. Except my wife got COVID. Uh oh. Yeah, which meant that I've been taking care of the baby the past few days. 
That's why I didn't stream yesterday or Friday. Um, L to her, I'm different. I'm, I feel great. I'm fine. I don't know. <laughs> kind of crazy, right? You might not see me later this week. Like, maybe I'll have to cancel, you know, Wednesday or Thursday or whatever. Oh, yeah, I did side stream on Friday. No, you're right. You're right. I did. You might not see me later, but, you know, tonight, I'm good, right? Flex on your wife. <laughs> this is me when I find out that my life partner has COVID. Yeah. <laughs> this is me right there. <laughs> Honey, for your own safety, I recommend you at the brace, in my opinion, after every Nintendo game ranking to keep mm, Nintendo fans from finding you and so? killing you. Moki! What's good, Moki? Thank you for the raid, my friend. Appreciate it, brother. Howdy, mokers and dokers alike. Welcome. What is that Yoshi with feet? I don't... Uh, never raid me again. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. He's born with shoes. That's like... That's an affront to God. That is... Uh, that's, that's like an invasive surgery. It's sure it, it's purely aesthetic. I don't like that. Stop posting that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Chad is aggressive today. Invasive species. Yeah, a, a, a Yoshi that evolved to not have shoes. Taking off his saddle is worse. Yeah. Yeah, because he's born with that, too. Which means that Yoshi is kind of born to serve. And I don't want to, like, you know, get into that argument or talk, but... An animal that's born with saddles and shoes to step on spikes... I can't step on spikes. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> so you guys undoing me. Yoshi was selectively bred by Mario's? Well, I think it's just more uh, an indication of intelligent design made by a loving creator. Whoever put Yoshis on the planet, whatever god there is, did so in service of Super Mario. Bless him. He will never rank Nintendo games. He will! He will! He's doing it tonight. I promise. It's happening tonight. Straight up. 100%. But maybe not in the way that you would expect. Mm. Perhaps a different uh, methodology is in order. So it doesn't take all fucking stream. <laughs> we'll do it a little different, okay? Tony, did you believe it? Dude, oh my god. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, unironically, thank you so much for linking me this, because I wanted to talk about it, and I didn't get to stream when it was happening, and I haven't talked about it yet. Fellas, what the fuck was this? We didn't even get to talk about it. Dude, we did. We did. Dude, dude, real aliens. Real honest to God ETs. It's a cake? I don't care if it's a cake or not. I'm eating it. I'm taking a bite. I think the funniest thing to me is that uh, the community note is so funny. Oh, it's not this one. There was a community note, not the same one. It was on a different tweet. But it was like, yeah, this guy has shown aliens before, and they're always fake. Which means this guy is living like a Wild West snake oil salesman. He's just he's just traveling around, hawking his wares, showing people his fake aliens, being like, huh? Huh? Five bucks a peak. You want to look? Look at the wonders of the galaxy. That's fantastic. What is what is his game? Is it is it for like what, like what's his end game? Money? <laughs> you you want to like fund a project or something? Cloud. <laughs> Actually, the funny thing is, I thought that was a joke, but I think I think you're right. I think it's he is the first and foremost. Alien authority. Alien clout. You think the aliens will come down and be like, as our guy, Jamie Flota. Show the aliens. Take those off. Show me the aliens right now. The aliens are right a key. Did somebody pop a sub? What is that? 
Are people su popping subs on C-SPAN? What is this? Somebody gave a thousand bits? Ah! Bro's using Streamlabs. Bro's on slobs. Coney, should I use my Prime? You fucking better. <laughs> Don't you ever ask me that question. I hope you know your answer. That one's a warning shot. Take 60 seconds to think about it. I'll see you in a bit. And you guys better take some time to think about your choices, too, because the ads are coming up in two seconds. I don't stop the first one. Here they come. Drop a Twitch Prime right now. Otherwise, you're going to get some ads. Or you can subscribe. It's September. It's half off for your first month. Go ahead and do it now. Thank you, Loki 69 Is that the guy I just banned? I didn't look at his name. He meant nothing to me. I killed the man just to watch him bleed. Subscribe right now. Otherwise, you're going to get some ads. Thank you, Royal. Thank you, Alex Magno. Really appreciate it. Play the song. I don't have it ready. If you guys don't sub now, you're going to miss the alien. You're not going to see it. I love the stunned silence. Love that. Dude, if I was an alien and I looked just like this, I would be so fucking mad. Did you ever think about that? Like, what if the aliens, by sheer coincidence, looked just like the little green men or little gray men that we're thinking? And they come down and they're like, how did you know, dude? Come on. I was saying it's dry as shit. <laughs> de acuerdo a la Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México. Quien <laughs> realizó. I love the. It's like biting his lip. Got the eyes closed. It's on Instagram. Love that. <laughs> Faded than a hoe. <laughs> Me after two hits off the double blinkerton. Alrededor de mil años de antigüedad. <laughs> es decir, they look like Rob. They got like the Rob headpiece. You know what I mean? No se trata de seres que fueron Bro, you could definitely make a skin in Ultima. Perados, That's actually just ET. Yeah. Que son estrellamientos, I mean, he's got two of them, right? Sepultados en minas de diatomea, tierra de diatomea. La diatomea es un alga the head is a backwards con... llama skull? Wait, really? Do you like paper mache it? I don't see it, but I I guess if you can't take him out of there, is, is this just paper mache? Is, it, is this just like a class project? <laughs> they cut off the front and turned it backwards. Wait. Huh. Dude, that's that's more fucked up than aliens to me. <laughs> that's actually that that's weirder to me than the other alternative. Yahoo! I am so glad we're still using that jingle I wrote. Hey. Putting this shit on my resume. It's only because a better one hasn't come along. As soon as somebody does some free labor for me, makes a better one than yours, I'm using that one instead. Thanks, Game Daddy, for the prime. <clears throat> I'm going to save the alien like the man trapped in the cave. I don't think he's alive, bro. <laughs> I think by any measure, that guy's dead. What do you? Well, I he does look like if you poured some water on him, he would come to life. He looks like Ash at the end of the of the first Pokemon movie when Pikachu cried on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, all it takes is uh, tears from uh, someone true of heart. And come back to life. This dude, Jamie Musan, even takes himself with humor. He showed up in an animated movie once about aliens getting to Mexico. It was literally him in live action saying, Ha, I told you I was right. And then gets cut off because it's a kid, kid's movie. So is this guy like like the the fair, fairly odd parents, like the Crocker guy, but with aliens? Is that his vibe? That's his whole thing. He's a famous scam artist. D hey, <laughs> Beats working a normal job, all right, fellas? <laughs> if my job was just to yell about aliens all day, I'd want to keep that shit too. 
I'd be making paper mache art projects, putting them in coffins, taking llama skulls and, you know, turning them backwards. Sure. Love that. W. You could make it your thing. Yeah, I'm the alien guy, right? Coney, please talk about the Among Us movie. Okay, I literally haven't seen anything about this. Okay. <laughs> what is there to say? Is there anything? Everybody's saying the what, and I'm seeing fake... Like, I, I'm just seeing fake stuff on my thing. Is there actually a tweet? Is there anything? I got one guy, didn't I? Alright, I got one guy. Fine. Happy Sunday, everybody. What's this emote? Uh, ban that guy. See you on Tuesday. Take the night off. Yeah. And you know what? Don't bother coming in Tuesday either, actually. I think you're good. I think We won't need you on Tuesday either. Okay. Happy Sunday, everybody. So, uh, today we will be doing what I could not do on direct day. On direct day, I realized that I bit off a little bit more than I could chew. So we're going to be doing something else, okay? Why is Yoshi acceptable? He's not, but it's a show of good faith to my friend Moki. <laughs> Yogi rated us, so out of professional courtesy, I will allow it to stand for a couple minutes. Okay. And then we're going to... No more of that. For this tar list to be done by Merbeats Games Link. Hold on. Let me look at it. Game devs, contrarian flavored tier miss make lake maker. I don't know what you mean by contrarian. Oh, I'd be down for this. I'd be down for this. Not right now, but I'm down. I can't wait to rank super giant. Ooh. Ooh. I got some shit to say about Blizzard. Y'all fell for a mind spell for like two decades. Thought they had good games. Fucking dorks. <laughs> Paint your Warhammer figures. Okay, but we actually have a lot to get through tonight. I'm very excited. A lot to get through. First off, Nintendo stuff, then some other stuff, then some other stuff. But before we do, I wanted to let you guys know, before anything else, tonight we have a bounty. It is for Lies of P. Yes, I got a code for Lies of P. If you don't know what Lies of P is, it is a Pinocchio Dark Souls game. I can't fucking wait. Now, the, the, the biggest reason that I can't wait is because... For some reason, the game is actually fucking good. I don't know how that happened. It's actually good. It's getting an 8 on a lot of places. A lot of my friends are saying it's actually a good game. I'm I'm shocked, truly. I thought this was going to be garbage. But I played the demo during the bounty, and I was like, oh shit, this is good, and now I got a real thing. So, we're going to give it a shot. Also, I realized that uh, Metacritic updated their format, and now it looks weird, and so I had to go to only one here. Uh, new page, um, one average score. And I think that's only because you can't get a zero unless you rate everything a zero. Are you able to use your old save? I don't know. I don't know if it transfers. If it doesn't, I have to do all the old stuff again, which kind of sucks, but. Coney hates games so much he sees an 81 on Metacritic and his mind explodes. Unironically, if I see an 81, it's either a miracle or it's a fucking disaster. Like, if Lies of P gets an 81, that is the fattest W of the year. If Starfield gets an 81, something has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> if Starfield gets an 81 out of 100, we have a problem. Because one took like a decade to make. This was made by, I think, a small Korean team. I can't wait. This is going to be fun. Measuring games based on Metacritic? I think you can. Everybody says, oh my god, game reviews. I, I think you get a good sense of them. I will defend game reviews. Kind of. Forever. Because I think that if you look at it with a broad enough scope, you can get a good sense of what's good and bad. You just have to know what to look for. But then again, again, I've been, I keep forgetting that I'm older. <laughs> so I've been, I like, I have more experience in like, I could see through the matrix. You know what I mean? I'm like, what's the gameplay loop here? And I always get anxious when it's like a week before a game comes out. And I'm like, wait, what's the game? And that happened to me with a couple games. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, we're playing Liza P tonight. Listen, if you don't want to stick around for the bounty, that's fine. I just wish you guys would keep the tab open, okay? Maybe a little bit of sound. I would appreciate that. I can't wait to play Liza P, and I can't wait to make money doing it. You don't have to sub or anything. Just keep the stream open, okay? Thank you. Oh, I also wanted to show you one quick thing. I have a... <laughs> I have a, uh, and, and, please be cool about this. I just thought this was funny. All right. Wait, where did it go? Did it get removed? No. Hold on. I, I have a, I have a hater on YouTube. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I found one of them. Okay. Please don't be weird about this, okay? Because I'm going to show you uh, the biggest hater I've had in years. Don't be weird, all right? Weird mode on. Don't do that. So, a few weeks ago, I uh, did a video called uh, Cats Are Busted, okay? Okay. And it's a video reacting to a uh, Casual Geographic's video about cats, right? You know, silly video, LOL, cats are funny, okay? And I guess the other comments didn't make it. So I had this in case of a raid tonight. Oh, fuck, I should have popped it during the Moki raid. I forgot how to do it. Okay. <laughs> so, uh... So... I made this video about cats, and somebody commented on these videos. What's up, Joan? Thanks for the thanks for the tier one. Somebody commented <laughs> a couple times with comments like this. Coney is such an asshole. He keeps talking over the narration and denying facts. And the fact is, cats rule all. And people like Coney who think they are funny and clever, and he clearly is not. Now, the reason I'm telling you not to be weird, please do not harass this poor woman. Okay? Please don't do it. I don't, this is just funny. We're being silly here. <laughs> I, but I, I dug a little deeper, right? I was like, hmm, who is Val Meow, right? Probably a cat fan. Oh, yes. <laughs> Posts a lot of videos of her cats. Um, I don't, yeah, a lot of videos of cats, which means that this video of cats <laughs> being <laughs> powerful animals from, uh, from Casual Geographic, me reacted to it, somehow wound up on this woman's front page, right? The algorithm suggested cat content to her. And she clicks on the video, and it's just a guy saying that he hates cats and would fight them without any issues and definitely is not susceptible to their influence. <laughs> she clicks on a video seemingly celebrating cats, and the whole video is a guy in a blue hat like, that shit's not even that cute. I don't even like that. Cats aren't even that cool, actually. But the reason I'm telling you this is because somebody had a comment, and I couldn't find it just now. Maybe it got deleted because it was in my, like, you know, harassing content. But somebody said, why does Coney think every fight with an animal can be solved by swing taking it by the tail and then swinging it around? And, you know, kind of a funny thing, right? Um, and the woman said, because Coney is an asshole <laughs> and a liar. She... <laughs> She want oh here we go, hold on. Why is Coney's default animal v animal scenario one of them grabbing the other by the tail and doing a Mario sixty four? Because Coney is stupid as shit. What did I do? I think that's a pretty decent way for animals to fight. She was in a couple of these. She was a, a, in, a, in a couple of these. It was pretty. So I'm not doing this. We're not. We're not dream. Okay. We're not harassing this poor woman. I just want you to know what it's like to be a content creator and to be assaulted on all sides for what you believe in. It's tough when the spotlight is on you. Give her VIP? Should I love it? <laughs> you guys don't know what it's like, okay? 
This content creator life, you, you couldn't handle it. Like that comment? No. That looks so passive-aggressive. Somebody did like her comment, though. Well, now, if I, I bet if I refresh this, this shit is up to 30. I know it is. Hold on. Hold on. Who got there? Did anyone get to the video? Oh, God. I told you not to be weird about it. This woman's going to get notifications now. Leave it alone. Leave this woman alone. So I got to <laughs> fucking this poor one. Okay, I shouldn't have done this. This is on me. I should have known better. I knew not to do that. I just thought it was funny. Lock the comment. Wait, can you do that? <laughs> I should just remove it, right? But then she's going to think I'm censoring her. I don't want her to think. Should I? Okay, I remove it. I gotta remove it. I gotta remove it. I gotta remove it. I got rid of it. I got rid of it. I hate to do it. I hate to to hurt her freedom of speech. I really do. I just don't want you guys to be annoying. I shouldn't have done that. That's on me. I I knew better. I knew better. That's on me. It's for her safety. It's for her own good. My bad. It's for her own good. I had to do it. Okay, it's gone. It's gone now. It's gone. I got rid of it. I, I snapped it out. <laughs> you know what the good thing is? As long as I never make another video about cats, I should never see her again. So. Hey, Coney, just came to say your new room looks awful. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm not... Uh, there are no delusions here. I'm as unhappy as you are. This is pretty bad. Okay. So, lots to get through tonight. So, let's get started, shall we? Okay. Now, a lot of you guys are here for a tier list. Oh my god, so I went on Tear Maker? <laughs> this is fucked up. First you remove her comment, what's next to which banning Jabasta? They would never do that. And here they come out of the chat. Here it comes. Yep. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. here it comes. Love that. Very good. I just clicked on Tear Maker and I saw this. Which platform fighter dies next tier list? This is from a YouTuber. Just say Steven. That's so toxic, Steven. I hope they all live rich and fulfilling lives. Wait, why is why is Red Smash alive but Black Smash is dead? What's the difference? What does he mean by that? Red is melee? How do you know? What is the donation goal to point your camera at the gorilla lamp instead of you? Gorilla lamp? Oh, you mean this? That one? <laughs> by the way, that's my daughter's new favorite toy. I showed her the remote. I was like, hit colors. And she hit uh, green and she went, oh! She loved it. So she was changing colors a lot on that. Does she like the goose? I don't even think she's seen it. I don't think she's even looked up. She hasn't even looked at it. Okay. So, if you guys were here... Sorry, I cleared my browser cache, so now I have to... This is so annoying. Hey, would you mind looking at this seven-second video link? Why do you guys make me look at all these videos, man? I gotta up the dono. Hold on. I'm trying to find the... What did I use to do this? Uh, I can't find the link of the thing that I did. It was every Nintendo game. Banger? You think so? How 
How did I find this? Okay, good enough. This might be it. Thank you, Chatter. Thank you, Notoru Boyd 1000. Drink it up for that guy. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so fellas, if you were here during the direct, uh, I said, and I promised, and I swore, that I was going to do a ranking of every single Nintendo game that was ever made. This was hot off of the, uh, the announcement of the new Paper Mario game, Thousand Year Door, the remake. Because to me, Thousand Year Door is like a seven. It's good, but it's like a seven. And so I loaded up this tier list fully expecting to do all of this. It may shock you to hear I did not complete this list. <laughs> I did not finish the whole thing. For the first time ever, I was, I was dumbstruck. I was like, where do I even begin with this? How do I even start sorting this? There are too many. I don't know how to compare, like, Pikmin versus Star Fox 64 versus Mario uh, Sunshine. There is no way to do this, right? No possible way to do this. And then I said, okay, so tiering these games seems to be pretty difficult. But what if there is another way that we could do this and make this work? Turns out, there is. In the form of... <laughs> a... And I have to be very careful with this. Hold on. Hold on. I have to be very careful with this. Welcome to Uwu Fufu. Uwu Fufu is a site. Don't go there without the ad block on. Go there with ad block on. What they do is they have a bracket. You can have a World Cup bracket of every single Nintendo game and have a 128 round bracket and pit them directly against each other. F-Zero X versus Mario Kart Double Dash. All kinds of random matches and we're gonna do this to find out what is the number one greatest Nintendo game of all time. We're gonna do it bracket format and hopefully there's no nudity on the set. Last time I came to Ubu Fufu, this is not a joke. Last time I came here, it was just very quickly and then it was full frontal. So hopefully there's none of that here. I'm not on the main page and hopefully the ad that comes up here is just for like Cricket Mobile or something. So let's let's hope that that doesn't happen again. All right? <laughs> By the way, before we get started, two things. Um well, I guess just one thing. So, uh fun fact, and this is for some of you in the chat. Um Oh god, I'm so scared. I like went down and then okay. Uh so, we sometimes have talks about Banjo-Kazooie versus Banjo-Tooie, right? You guys know how I feel. Banjo-Kazooie uh, Banjo is uh, an instant classic, and Tooie is one of the worst games ever made. So, if I go down to, you know, these are the people that won the bracket when you do it. Tears of the Kingdom, obviously, Smash Ultimate Galaxy. These are considered the best uh, Nintendo games of all time. Banjo-Kazooie is on here, and it's number 17. Right above Brawl. Right below Pikmin 4. Why do I show you this? It has won 45% of the time, but it's usually in the top 8, 2%. Banjo-Tooie is 125 out of 128. It is below Duck Hunt. <laughs> Nobody likes Banjo-Tooie. Nobody enjoys this game. I, it's just facts. All these fans can't be wrong, right? Honestly, kind of harsh, but true. I'm just it's below the Game Boy Advance Mario Kart. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Apparently, that one's really good. Banjo 2 is trash, bro. You want to know what I looked at recently? Uh, this is crazy to me. The how long to beat on Banjo Kazooie is 11 hours, and I was like, okay, that makes sense, right? That kind of makes sense. It's about what I expected it to be. I was like, I bet you Banjo-Tooie is like 25 hours. It's the same. It's only five more. Huh? How? It feels like triple. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like, it's not, it's a little bit more. But, like, I thought it was way more. 
awful game. 16 equals 11. Shut the fuck up. It's 150%. I thought it was 500%. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, let's get started on a bracket to find the best Nintendo game ever made. Oh, I forgot to... Uh, if this goes on YouTube. Hey, by the way, before we keep going, like the video, right, guys? Like it. You're going to like it anyway, so you might as well get out of the way. Otherwise, you might forget. Can't have that. Can't have you forgetting, because then this video goes down in the algorithm. And I wouldn't like that one bit. You'd make me mad. You don't want to see me when I'm mad. Right, guys? Yeah, they all said yes. All right, let's get started. My mic arm broke. How did that happen? Dude, I don't... Dude, I literally don't know how that happened. What the fuck? Good bit? I, Dude, it's not... I didn't even turn it that much. Okay, I can... I mean, it's just one of these. It's just one of these. I can put it back on, but, like... That was weird. Great bit. It's not a bit. What kind of stupid bit would that be? LOL, my thing broke. Stop stalling. You guys are pissing me off. That's the one plus two I get. I never get plus twos, and now I get them. Thanks, everybody. Okay. All right, let's get started. Let's find the best Nintendo game ever made by comparison. Please, no porn on this site. I would, I would really appreciate that. Round of 128, 128 games. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, this feels unfair. Ah, oh, man. This is your only warning. <laughs> Take this what? Omen as a sign this exercise will only lead no. to ruin. No. That's not true, right, guys? That witch is wrong. We're going to have lots of fun on the stream. Right, fellas? Let's have lots of fun tonight. <laughs> Hooray! Do not rank. How is this seeded? I don't know. Randomly. Of course, the bracket guy wants to know how it's seeded. I can't. Actually, Taizai, I don't know if you do brackets. You do production. Whatever, I still can't. Uh, Galaxy 2 versus Snap doesn't feel right. Because, like, Snap was so good, but you can't compare it to this. There's too much in this game. But Snap was so inventive, right? Like, Galaxy 2 is a sequel. Yeah, sequels get less points. It's got to be Galaxy 2. It has to be. It's, it feels weird to do because the novelty of Prime is... Ooh. I'm, uh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> and this is where the controversy begins. Um, fellas, listen. <laughs> listen. I played Metroid Prime 1. I've never played 2. Um, thought it was kind of boring. Thought it was kind of dull. Definitely innovative for the time, but not that great in the year whenever I played it. Two years ago? Three years ago? I did not play Metroid Prime 2, but I assume it's more of the same because it looks the same. And I watched my wife play Animal Crossing New Horizons for like three months during that COVID period where everybody was off work, but we didn't realize the world was changing as before our eyes. You guys remember that time? This game uh, holds a very special time in my heart. <laughs> Because it was like that period where everybody got to stay home from work. This was before I quit my job. Well, it was like right after I quit my job, joined Panda, whatever. And this game came out, and it was like, wow, everything's going to be okay. And then it fucking wasn't. But for a moment, it was great. Yeah, listen to me being privileged. Everybody got to stay home. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want me to thank the essential workers? Fine, I'll do it. I'll be brave enough to do it. Thank you, essential workers. The nurses... Waiters, DoorDash people, God bless you all. You had to be at your jobs, and we appreciate you. McDonald's employees, yeah. Ooh, I've never played either of these, but I think this one probably sucks. I hear the grinding in this is bad. So, we go Wim Waker here. Oh, man. Everybody hates on 8, but I kind of like it. I'm a big fan of 8, actually. If for no other reason than it gave us this? <laughs> you know what video I'm finding. 
You know, if you've been in the stream for a year, you know what I'm looking up. <laughs> Hold on. Please tell me. <laughs> it has my favorite game in Mario Party history. Shake it up! Shake it up, Mario! I need a demonstration! Shake it up for me, Mario! Go ahead, Mario! Shake it up! Shake it up, Mario! <laughs> oh, jeez. Jeez, Mario with the glove on? <laughs> He's shaking it up, bro. Yeesh. <laughs> As a kid, I saw nothing wrong with this. I was an adult, and I was like, Tony, that's not a glove. That's a glove. Right? What do you think? Right? Are you saying the gloves are Mario's hands? I think I remember a gif of you playing this one. Shut the fuck up. You do not. <laughs> I don't remember a gif of that. There was a gif of me playing the boo one in Mario Party 1. Oh, hold on. Somebody, uh, I forgot. Somebody donated this for a seven second video. Hold on. He's going to pass to Keenan Allen, but we're showing you this play because Mike Williams, the other wide receiver, is down and injured. <laughs> if Red Zone accidentally plays Christmas music during an injury? He's going to pass to Keenan Allen, but we're showing you this play because Mike Williams, the other wide receiver, is down and injured. That's kind of funny, I guess. Production gaff. Yeah, here's Mario jacking off. Pretty funny, right? Uh, I like Mario Party 8. I really like Mario Party 8, and I think it... I, I'm not an X guy. Funny bit, but it's X. I don't play Pokemon. Every Pokemon has seemed the same to me for a while, other than Arceus. So I'm going Mario Party. I'm a Mario Party guy. Now, when I said every Mario Par every Pokemon game is the same, uh, it's all based on this one. Version Bleu. Golden Sun does have, like, a fan base behind it. But I think there's a reason we never got a Golden Sun 2. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> straight up. Oh, man. And here, already? Already, huh? Number 6 out of 64, we're here? Mmm. Mmm. I'm not going to be an asshole. Come on. No, obviously this is better. I'm not. I know a lot of you guys think that I'm doing this for like the joke or the bit or the meme or whatever. Like, oh, look at Thousand Year Door. It's so bad. I am not a full on contrarian. I believe what I think and what I say in my heart and my soul. I like Thousand Year Door. I just don't think it's game changing and I don't think it's that crazy. So I'm going to give it to Thousand Year Door. It deserves it. Oh, this one's hard. This is a really good game. But Smooth Moves was the Wii one. Wario W. It has to be. Dude, WarioWare with Wii Remote is crazy. Same with the new Joy-Con one. Smooth Moves is the second best one. Only behind the GameCube one. Because it has the multiplayer modes. Straight up. Fusion is great though. I will never upvote a land game. Any game for poor friends that's on a mobile system, I do not enjoy. World games, W. Land games, L. Every time. Same with Donkey Kong. Don't like land games. Not a land guy. That's true. The only difference is Wario. Because Wario lands are good and Wario World was not. So, you're right. That one's, that one's perfect. Wario style. That's Wario style. We flipped that, right? Yeah. Tony hates poor people, I guess. You don't have to guess, brother. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. You know. It's Zelda. Ah, it's Donkey Kong, right? I mean, Wii Sports is like... It's good, but... DK64 is good, good. My wife plays this, like... Once every three years, and she 100%s it, and it takes up like two months of her life. She can't be wrong that many times. She married me. <laughs> There's the easy setup chat. Knock him down. Go ahead. Knock him down. 
Here it comes? I can't? Okay. I gave that to you. Put on the T for you and everything. <sighs> Uprising is so overrated. You think so? I've never played it. But I will say... I am... Donkey Kong Country, the original, is in my top 10 games of all time. Maybe top 5. This game... I didn't really like that much. I liked it, but I wasn't crazy about it. Same with Tropical Freeze. I get, like, they're good, but they're not like, I don't know. They don't have the same mystique. It's just a new generation. It's fine. I'm a boomer. I'm old. It's fine. Why, why don't you come blowing on flowers and shit? Why I gotta shake the Wii Remote? You know what I'm saying? The old Donkey Kong Country games, I think, have more soul. But maybe I'm, you know, I was a kid when I played them, so. Um, for the sheer novelty of it, it felt Disney-fied. Yes, it feels very Pixar. And that's not what I think of when I, and I think it was like, that was the thing Nintendo was doing at the time. It felt very Disney, you know what I mean? Which is fine, but it wasn't for me. Um, but I feel like Kid Icarus, people still talk about this. And they still love this game. So I kind of feel like I want to give it to Kid Icarus, even though I've never played it. <laughs> is that... Is that unfair? I mean, either one of these is going to lose next round anyway. I'll give it to Kid Icarus. Yeah, fine, whatever. I'll give it a shot later. Ooh. <laughs> okay, this is a fully fletched out RPG experience. With a lot of time-based moves and a fleshed-out story and great dialogue and characters. But I had a lot of fun when I played this. I had a lot of fun. Nintendo Land was very fun. It really is, dude. Have you guys not had three other friends playing the, the Find Me game? Or whatever it was called. They had a tank skin. I mean, it, it's Mario and Luigi, right? But Nintendo Land is very good. Wow. Huh. Do you promise not to be mad at me? You have to promise not to be mad. I'm not going to click unless you promise not to be mad. I'll end the stream. I think Dread's a better game. I think Dread's a better game. I, I, think, I think Prime is very good. It is so good. But it's old, dude. It's old. It's great. It's just... Am I wrong to say that I think it's aged worse than the other GameCube games? I think it aged worse than Sunshine, worse than Luigi's Mansion, worse than Melee. But maybe I just don't like Metroid? I mean, I'm being serious here, because I'm not... I like 2D Metroids, I don't like 3D Metroids. Maybe, but not by much. I feel like all the other GameCube games, Pikmin, they all hold up very well, but Metroid Prime, I feel... Like, was innovative for the time. I just feel like it doesn't hold up as much. Okay, so that's not just me. Okay, thank you, everybody. See, I like talking about this. This one... If you asked me a week ago... <laughs> if you asked me a week ago... I might tell you guys uh, that this one was easy. But I want to show you guys a screenshot of a purchase I made yesterday. Not a joke. <laughs> I bought this game. <laughs> I really want to play F Zero. I I why? Because I want to play it on the actual hardware. I have the um the real shit. So I'll pay the twelve bucks. Twelve seems like a steal. Yeah, that's not bad. I also want to play Chrono Trigger. That shit's two hundred dollars. Although I just realized they're shipping it to my old address, so, uh-oh. 
Um, I need to fix that. Uh oh. I'm gonna play GX at some point. I will emulate that because I don't have my GameCube up and running. So I have I have Chrono Trigger on my Steam Deck. I just I don't want to. I wanted to play it with the actual hardware, but. But, 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 I will say, for the sake of just the ingenuity and the amount of stuff here, it has to be Mario Maker 2. If we're talking GX, maybe. But, like, come on, dude. Mario Maker is a marvel. I'm not crazy about it. But I do think it's a great game. We have to give it up. I will always vote against New Super Mario Brothers. Just get used to that. I'm always going to vote against that. I hate it. Every day of the week, I will vote against that game. Don't like it. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. All right, this one's easy. Trying to step out of my own brain. Trying to be unbiased. I will say, I had a lot of prejudice against Mario 3D World when it came out. I was like, because I thought it was like 3D land. I was like, wow, this is boring. These levels look shitty. They don't look fun, whatever. And then I played it with Bowser's Fury. I was like, wow, this game is very good. But it felt like a Mario game. Nothing is like Pikmin. Nothing's like Pikmin. It's not Pikmin good. I think Pikmin is... For what it is, I think it might be a perfect game. Is that weird to say? It feels like a perfect little, like a, like a, like a perfect little entree. Not a huge thing. It's not sprawling or whatever, but like for what it is, I think it's fantastic. Oh, dude, this is easy, right? I never played the DS one because I didn't own a DS, but um. I still feel like this one's just... This spawned a whole genre. Seven sucks? Really? I thought everybody said this is the good one. I mean, Mario Party is like... It spawned an entire new genre. Straight up. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Who did this seating? I, they should both die. What are you talking about? Choose wisely? I told you, I already made a rule. I will always vote against new Super Mario Bros. So Mario and Sonic clear. Sonic is so cool. He's in the game, right? Ooh. You know, I talked about how I like uh, F-Zero now. I said that I played F-Zero 99. I was like, wow, this is really fun. And I said I was going to get into it. More people said to try the N64 one than I ever thought. I thought the 64 one was, like, bad. And everybody said it was bad. But apparently people say it's good. Ass versus ass, let's go. Okay, now you're being a contrarian. These are both very good games. 64 one is good, but GX is a masterpiece. I'm still going to have to give it to Earthbound, obviously. Earthbound spawned, like, a culture, an internet e-subculture, and many games, including one of my favorite games of all time. I will say, and I've said this before because I beat Earthbound, like, a year ago, Earthbound without the, um, without Rewind is not as fun. Like, it's not fun. It's really annoying. Um, but, you know, it's an old RPG. That's just kind of how it is. You're spoiled? Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, Earthbound, if, if I didn't have the ability to Rewind, I would be so annoyed. Because shit just kills you in one hit. And it's like, dude, a lot of the stuff is annoying. But it's a good game. W game. I've never played either of these. I tire of you <laughs> and your That's not even the opinion. same witch. I'm not a contrarian, you say. That's a different witch. I curse you, Coney. No, don't do that. I curse you. <laughs> Beware for June 24th, 2028. BTW love your content. Wait, you gave me like four and a half years to prepare? <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm fine. I'm good with that. 
I didn't know if I was going to make it that long anyway. <laughs> June 2028? You're kidding. You are going to forget. I never forget. I'll remember that. I've never played Bowser's Inside Story, but everybody says it's good. And, uh... I would like it more than Fire Emblem. I would. <laughs> well, well, well. It's going to feel good. <laughs> well, well, well. And to put it up against one of the best sell I licked too much. To put it up against one of the best selling games of all time. Would you look at that? One of the greatest games ever made. It's over, bro. Light work, no diff. is isn't mad easy, bro. Fun story about Wii Sports. Uh, Wii Sports, showing Wii Sports to old people was one of my... It was like my fourth job. I was 17 or 18. Damn, I had a lot of jobs. I worked a lot. And I worked at a, at a mall kiosk when the Wii was coming out. And I was like 17 or 18 at the time. And I showed old people how to play Wii Sports. Did they like it? They loved it. I knew that shit was going to blow up because every old person loved bowling. And you would have two people like doing the boxing thing. And dude, it was a revelation. It was so fun. Fourth job at 17? Yeah, bro, I was hustling. My first job ever, I worked at a Cold Stone when I was 14. Guys, and this is not a joke. Like, mask off, no bit here. Once you start working, you don't stop. So if you're like 60, if anybody is watching this or, or on the stream or in the YouTube and you're 15 and you're thinking about getting a job for like some side income, go for it. But just know once you start, you will never stop working. Seriously. Because you're going to get used to it. No, I quit my job and went back to school. School is a job. <laughs> I did the same thing. I, I, I took a semester off of school because I was depressed. So I worked at H.H. Gregg, got more depressed because that shit was awful, and then I went back to school. I just mean, once you get into the workforce, shit's different. Fuck a H.H. Gregg. Guys, go vandalize your local H.H. Gregg. I hate those guys. Not a joke, by the way. <laughs> Am I allowed to say something's not a joke is a joke? Will I get in trouble for that? Is that toss? It is a joke. Make a H.H. Greg in Minecraft and uh, uh, blow it up with a creeper. <laughs> All right. All right, we go Wii Sports, though. Clearly. Obviously. Ooh. I've never played the DS one of this. But I told you I would vote against any land game. Wait! We have a problem. <laughs> mm. Mario vs. Donkey Kong is good, though. But this is like a classic, right? Nobody ever talks about this anymore. It has to be that. It has to be that. I, it's weird, but... Nope, nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't even like the GameCube Mario parties. I think they're cringe as hell. That's not even true. That's a little dramatic. I don't like them as much because I didn't grow up with them. I like 64 ones. But I will always vote against the new Super Mario Bros. ones. Always. Fellas, hear me out. Cardboard you can play. Is that not a cool-ass idea? I'm not going to click on it, but, like, seriously... Is that not cool? I think that's cool as hell. Right? I think it's really cool. I'm not going to click it, but it's a scam. I, come on. I think it's cool. Whatever, bro. This is easy. It, this is just a remake of a game. It is four player, which is good. Uh, it's, it's not. If it was 64, we would have a conversation. Uh... Wait, I'm this says City Folk. Wait, that's is that the original Animal Crossing? Yeah, City Folk was Wii. 
I'm going to assume this means City Folk, which is the Wii one, which means Banjo-Kazooie wins. However, I will say, uh, the Wii... The Wii version did come with a little microphone, a little speaker, too, like this. And uh, my wife and I were dating at that time, and we both bought this, and we would visit each other's uh, islands and talk to each other, and it was very cute. It was very sweet that we did that. I remember those times fondly. Yeah. It's a shit game, though. Binge Kazooie clears. Animal Crossing New Leaf or Awakening? Dude, don't people love New Leaf? I think New Leaf is like the most beloved one. Awakening is fantastic. Nice try. <laughs> you will not convince me of this. I'm not wasting any time here. Oh, no! I want to cancel this. <laughs> I don't want to do the rest of this, dude. Smash 64 is outdated and you know it, but it spawned the franchise that basically gave me my life. You got to understand that. If I never went to a Smash, if, if Smash is never invented and I never go to a Smash Brawl tournament and I never become a commentator, I never become a streamer and I never go into this life, like I wouldn't be here. You get what I'm saying? It changed my fucking life, dude. And, like, for how inventive it is. Like, a, a ma like a, just on the face of it, Smash 64 is the only game that's ever gotten it, like, right enough to keep going. Right? Fantastic game, dude. It's still fun. But this is legitimately, I think, one of the greatest games ever made. Striker's Charged is... I don't get the feeling of... There are some games that you never get that feeling from again. I think TF2 is one of them. When you play TF2, there's no feeling like TF2. I think Mario Strikers Charge, there's no feeling like playing that game. There are just some games that feel different. I think Smash 64 is one of those too. But I also think, since we're never going to get another one of these, it wins. Does it need a Wii Remote? Yes. This game is... Excellent. This game is fantastic. I don't I don't even know how to like I don't even know how to articulate it or explain it. This game is so fucking good. And wait a minute, he's in chat. Wait. And if you don't believe me and you want to know why, here's some homework for you. Existed, we can't say 100% Mario Strikers wouldn't be the top of sport. That's true. And in case you don't believe me, why not check out Leon Massey's video on the subject? The underappreciated sports fantasy. Right there. Check it out. It's about video games that are sports, but not sports. Check out Leon Massey. Take a bow, Leon. Big fan, big fan, big fan. It's called soccer. Oh, true. <laughs> He's right. Hashtag ad? Yeah. Just dump that into my PayPal soon. This here is Coney's Sophie's Choice. Dude, yeah, this is fuck. But I have to go Strikers. I have to. Ooh, this one feels weird. I never played this. I've never played this before. Um, But I know how Mario Tennis is go. I will say, I tried to replay Super Paper Mario like eight years ago. And that intro was like 30 minutes long, and I was so annoyed. So we go Power Tennis here. Super Paper Mario was really cool at the time, but now it's like, ugh. Way too long, dude. Too much talking. Um, I mean, it's Mario RPG, right? It has to be. Why is it? Why trains? What is... Why was Miyamoto, like, hyper fixated on trains here? Why is he... What's he doing? <laughs> Spirit Track sucks. Is this a good game, like, on its own merit? I never played any of, like, the... D I didn't own a DS or anything, so I didn't play this. I didn't play uh, Link Between Worlds or whatever. Like, we go Mario or PG. We have to. Hmm. This 
kind of interesting, isn't it? I've never played any Splatoon ever. And this is a sequel. Mario 2 is weird, but it is good. But I don't think it's that good. Mario 2 is not that good. It's good, but it's not that good. Dude, Animal Crossing. Straight up, right? This was the game that I thought people said was amazing, which was 7, but it's actually DS. Mario Kart DS is supposed to be good. No, it's Animal Crossing. No, it's Animal Crossing. No, 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 no. Again, invented a genre. This game changed the world. You remember what I said about COVID earlier? With that, with that, uh, the, the New Horizons thing? That wouldn't be here if not for Animal Crossing. This game is phenomenal, and... I think I think the fact that everybody is saying it's Mario Kart is a testament to my 5% female audience. I think that's what it was. If we had more diversity in the audience here, then maybe we would have more Animal Crossing votes. I think that's the problem. Girls love Animal Crossing. They do. No, we go Animal Crossing here. I think their voices should be heard. <laughs> Dude, I got halfway through... Link to the past, and I just stopped. Treasure Tracker, I also stopped too. Dude, I killed that bird. I did the first part of Treasure Tracker, and then it kept going, and I was like, ah. <laughs> ah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I, was like, I, I was ready for that to be done. Treasure Tracker is too much loading. It's, yeah, there's a lot of, like, time in between stuff. I think this is probably a great game to play with kids. I bet this is, like, an ideal game to play with your kid and have them be like, where should I go? And then you all play it together as a family. But most people don't have kids. Well, most gamers don't have kids, I would say. So we go Link to the Past. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, hold on. You guys are going to say that I'm baiting. I know that you are. A lot of people are going to comment and be mad about this, and they're going to say, like, oh, my God, this has to be a contrarian opinion. But I'm not kidding. I think Kirby's Adventure is a fantastic game. I think this game is amazing. Now, I've never played Xenoblade, <laughs> but I've seen cutscenes. That's your goat. Ugh. That's your favorite game, bro? <laughs> oh, I've seen it. The cutscenes are optional. Are they? That's how you turn a 50-hour game into a 6-hour game. I don't think that's true. I think we go Kirby's Adventure here, and I will hear nothing more about it. Hold on, where's my gavel? <laughs> Hold on, here's my very powerful gavel that, that, I, I, here we go. Uh, case closed. <laughs> Dude, it's literally chipping. Every time I bang it, a piece comes off. It's a fucking baby toy. So stupid. So dumb, dude. I wanted a gavel. That was like $15. Dumbass hammer. It's Kirby. Kirby's peak. I know somebody is screaming at their TV right now. Somebody's watching this on YouTube after the fact and is screaming. <laughs> at which one they want me to pick. Now, I don't think this is Wii U. I think it's Switch. Because I don't... I'm going to pick this as if it's Switch. I know it says Wii U, but why would they have two different ones? I don't think that's true. It's Switch. I know it was on both. I'm just saying I'm going to think it's Switch. The Switch version. Why would they put two versions? Breath of the Wild is high key the most overrated game of all time. I don't know if it's the most of all time, but I do think it's overrated. You know what? This one? This one's out of my hands. I'm going to phone a friend on this one. Chat? 
Uh, you can vote on this one yourself in the chat. I'm going to do a poll. You can vote one time, or if you spend 500,000 Kony coins, you can have two votes. One minute long. Let's go. Oh, by the way, add in 20 seconds. Subscribe with Twitch Prime if you don't want ads or Tier 1 sub. Tier 1s are half off for September, so go ahead and drop that Tier 1 if it's your first time in the channel. Otherwise, you're going to get ads in 10 seconds. You're not even going to see who went. Well, I guess you'll see it in the chat. Whatever, the ads are coming in 8 seconds. Thanks, Mr. Cart. And hey, for a moment, if you guys subscribe, you get to be on the chat and the TV in the back. Wow, what a deal. Go ahead and subscribe now. Here come the ads. Ban the people who choose Xenoblade. <laughs> thank you, Frolic. Thank you, Download Failed. I'm, I'm gonna... Thank you, Pharaoh. I, I'm gonna leave this one on chat, seriously, because I don't know these games. I played Breath of the Wild up until I had to go up the mountain. I think I did all the Divine Beasts except one. Um, and then I had to go up the mountain, and I didn't have the hot clothes. And I was like, this is stupid. I don't want to do that. So I stopped. Chat, your your chat is full of people who hate RPGs unless they have Mario in them. One, that's not true. Xenoblade was actually voted my uh, my chatter's favorite Nintendo franchise. Two, I know you saw that, Mar that, that tweet. Everybody's talking about that Mario tweet. I don't think that's true. I don't like normal RPGs either unless they do something different. Mario RPGs are different. I hate that fucking tweet. Oh, it's just like every other RPG. No, it's not. The tweet is so right. It's not. You can't put Triangle Strategy, Octopath Traveler, and like Paper Mario in the same thing. They're not the same. The fucking turn-based uh, RPG Square Enix bullshit is so boring to me. Especially if it's like a fantasy game. If I'm a wizard, or a mage, or a barbarian, or something. That's so fucking cringe. I want to jump on their heads and tap the A button when I land. Paper Mario is turn-based. Yes, but at least there's some engagement. And maybe there is engagement with the new games. But I still don't like the setting. I don't like the location. I don't like the fact that it's this fucking fantasy shit we've done a million times before. I want to be in the Mushroom Kingdom. Name one fantasy game like that recently. Uh, Octopath Traveler 2, I guess. I don't know. I haven't played it. <laughs> I think the... I love the Paper Mario games. They're very creative. Bravely Default. Okay, that one. There you go. <laughs> Coney likes Scrimblo RPGs. I mean, kind of. I would just like my games that have a little bit more creativity than... I, I don't know. I, the, 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 the broad general fantasy setting is not appealing to me. If we change up the setting, I might be more into it, unironically. That's all it is. Sea of Stars is good. That one and Live Alive? I hate that name. That's what people tell me to play. Just like cartoons. Yeah! I want cartoons! Okay. Everybody said Breath of the Wild. We're doing Breath of the Wild. Fine. This one's even worse. <laughs> I said I was going to vote against every new game. And now we have new, but it's not even Mario. It's a Luigi new. Dark Moon sucks. Is it that bad? Whatever. I'm going for it. I like Luigi's Mansion. I think it's a neat idea. <laughs> the Banjo-Tooie Slayer. This is an awful name. I always think it says Kirby Triple Double. Is that just me? Every time I see the Triple D, I'm like, did Kirby put up some numbers? Like, Kirby go crazy on the court. Um, I think it's Kirby. Duck Hunt old, bro. It is two-player, which is kind of crazy. You guys aren't going to be mad, right? We could go Mario Maker here. Nobody's mad at me. No unsubs. Nobody leaving the stream. No viewer drop. We could go Mario Maker here, right? We're good? All right, cool. This one is hard. I just think this one is like... Especially when it first came out. This is so inventive. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mario Maker is such a cool idea for a game. Really? 
Why can't? Why do they act like two legends can't coexist? Why do they gotta pretend like these two things can't live together? That's crazy. Why do they fight? Why is it Donkey and Diddy? What the fuck is their problem? Also, this isn't close. You don't think so? I don't think it's close either, but I don't think it's in the direct. I don't know what direction you're going. I could see people fighting both ways. This is in my top five games of all time. I think Donkey Kong Country is a fucking masterpiece. I think it's better than two, but you guys know that. I have say this on every stream. I'm only saying that because the viewership is higher than normal, and I wanted to farm huhs and question marks. I think it's better than two. But that's just me. Both of those franchises are dead. It hurts. I know. Yeah. I think one is better than two, and I hope that one day society comes around to that opinion, that truth, that fact. Donkey Kong Country 1 is better because it's easier. <laughs> it is not. Well, yes, it is. It is easier. Until you get the Poison Pond. I hate that fucking level. I've never noticed DK's Sonic Eye. He doesn't have... Oh, you mean Diddy Kong? Oh, yeah, he has Sonic Eye in this game. 3D DK soon. Yeah, man, totally. Yeah. I love Donkey Kong Country 1 so much. Excellent game. Go play it on your Switch right now. <gasps> oh, this is fucked up, dude. First Donkey vs. Diddy, now Mario vs. Luigi. This isn't fair, man. This feels bad, dude. Mansion clears? No, it doesn't. Odyssey's better. Odyssey, Luigi's Mansion is excellent. Especially for what it was at the time to go in such a weird direction. Like, it is such a creative, cool game. But Odyssey is so good. Odyssey's fantastic. Wait, that's Awakening. I love Link's Awakening. But not on the Game Boy. Uh, yeah, that's the one Zelda game I love. I like the remake, not the original. Yeah. Coney, think about Louie. Louie. Pokeball. Uh, unrelated, but I love it when people play Pikmin for the first time or Pikmin 2. They're like, what the fuck is that sound? Louie. Here, yeah, that's his voice. He sounds like that? <laughs> like in Smash, everybody thinks Olimar doesn't have a voice. And it's just deep as shit. I was going to say you played and liked the Zelda. I love Link's Awakening. I love that game. Um, But I like the Switch one. I've never played the Game Boy one. I think I wouldn't like it because it's old. Definitely Pikmin 2. Although I don't like Pikmin 2 as much as other people. Come on. Miss me with this bullshit. Girl game. Omega laugh. I'm a boy. I don't play girl games. <laughs> Am I right, fellas? Up top. <laughs> Boys only stream. Fuck a land game. Dude, Mario Land is not good. It was good because it was on your Game Boy. It's not good. I'll even give it to Skyward Sword. I don't care. Oh, this feels bad. This is my favorite Mario Kart. And it's because, you know, I'm old. It was the, the, the one that I played the most. I miss old Toad so much. I miss this, this, this style of render. If my stream had, like, a vibe or, like, a brand or something I would do, I would get somebody that's proficient in Blender to just make me shit like this. I love this so much. I love this. Does Mario Kart 64 hold up? To me, it does. <laughs> I don't think to most people. But I think Sunshine wins. Yahoo! Sunshine is a great game, and... I always thought Almar was the one making the Pikmin noises when I played <laughs> Roll as a kid. Actually, I could see that. Like, the... I could kind of see that, actually. Huh. Yeah, because he has the whistle, too. I never really thought of that. That's a good point. Huh. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, No, I think Sunshine's amazing. And and again, like, I, I put a high 
uh, premium on novelty and creativity, and Sunshine just straight up does it, bro. Like, it's fantastic. This is the first Pokemon game I've liked in years. Put your ass in the pachinko machine. Dude, I beat that first clear. That's not hard. I don't even know if Arceus is good. I just, I liked it. I'm going to say since this is a sequel, Arceus wins. Just because sequel. That's all. I mean, it's Galaxy. It's definitely Galaxy. It's absolutely Galaxy. Double Dash is good, but it's absolutely Galaxy. Straight up. It has to be. This is really bad today. <laughs> Galaxy today, or uh, GoldenEye today is bad. It's a bad game. But, I was alive when it was good. And you get the old man premium. I played this in the basement with my stepbrother and his friends, and I beat all of them. And I would hide in the corner of the Aztec level facing the wall like this so they couldn't scream peek me. And then I would turn around and go <sniffs> I played Jaws too to make it fair who's like 9 feet tall. GoldenEye was so good back then. It's bad now. Was it the first multiplayer FPS? On console maybe. I don't know. Time Splitters was absolutely better. I want a new Time Splitters. I, I think this one's easy. Luigi's Mansion 3 is very good, but, bro, it's, come on. You know what? I would give it to Luigi's Mansion 3. I would give it more credit. If not for that fucking cat elevator section, I will never forgive them for that. That cat elevator thing was one of the worst things I've played in games in the last decade. They just keep dropping the button to the other. No, we got it. We go Super Metroid here, straight up. It has to be. Super Metroid is one of the best games ever made. A little overrated, I think. I played it semi-recently. It's it's good, but I think it's a little overrated. I don't think it's the game's fault. I think it is the effect of being spoiled by newer Metroidvanias. But being lost in that game is so fucking annoying. It's so annoying. Not knowing where to go or what to do. Like, I tried playing Super Metroid, and if you don't want to use a guide, it's miserable. It's really annoying. And, yeah, it started all that, but still, it's like... It's not a skill issue. You should play Metroid and see what it's like. You gotta shoot every wall. And if it doesn't work with shooting, you gotta bomb it. If it doesn't work with bombs, you gotta missile. There's a couple bullshit things in the game. Now, are they as bullshit as, like, the Sonic Barrel things that, like, I remember? Not really. They're not as bad for me to, like, remember it specifically. Um. But if you don't have a walkthrough of this game, it's really annoying. But it's still very good. Kony is that guy who worked on God of War? Dude, unironically, I don't think he was that wrong. That David Jaffe thing? Also, hop off my goat. That guy made Twisted Metal. So you watch how you speak about David Jaffe in my chat. I don't think he was right, but I don't think he was that wrong. I think he was a little dramatic, but... What is this? I never... I do not remember seeing this guy. Who is that? Is that a Europe exclusive? I don't remember the Wave Race Demon. The Water Wraith. <laughs> Who is this ghoul? It's kind of weird that Wave Race was like a franchise for Nintendo. Like 1080, you know what I mean? Like, they were just like, ah, pfft, nobody cares. Cancel it. You don't remember the Grubbler? I don't remember the Grubbler. The Bubbling Grubbler, no. I guess we go Pokemon here. Yeah, it's still alive. I mean, from what people tell me, this game is peak. And I'm, a, I'm on an F-Zero kick, so we have to go there. Yeah. I mean... 
I mean... Bro. Come on, right? A fox in space wearing people clothes? <laughs> How are you gonna beat that? You know what I'm saying? Like... Bro, it's 3D. This game is 3D. With the power of the Super FX microchip that creates special effects like never before. <laughs> I've never liked Star Fox. I like 64. Cheers the Kingdom Partners in Time. I don't fucking care. I don't. Time travel shit, I think, is lame. So we go Tears of the Kingdom. Which I think is time travel shit, doesn't it? Ah, oh, I'm too late. Hey, what other game could survive for a decade, right? Th this one is still topping the charts a decade later. It wins. No. D d no, it's Mario Kart 8. <laughs> ah, they made my choice easy. I mean, it's definitely this one, but the fact that this is the new Super Mario Bros., they, you know, that one's kind of a sleeper. You know, this is the good one. Because Super Mario Party wasn't great, but Super Stars is very good and it has online. Not great online, but good online. Prime 3 best Metroid? I already talked about the Prime games. I think they're boring and a little slow. So we go Party. Party rules L. <laughs> L Metroid. Fa Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, dude. Holy shit, man. Ah. Oh. I mean, it's Ocarina of Time, but... You think so, Chatter? Do you really think that's true? I don't think that's true at all. I think it's super fucking Mario. I think Ocarina of Time is very good. I played it for the first time, like, three and a half years ago. The playthrough is on my channel, twitch.tv slash ZZ or YouTube.com. Com slash cone. It's on. You're watching this on YouTube. It's it's on here. The first time I ever played Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask are on here. Great games, great games. But maybe it's just by virtue of being on the 64. I feel like the 64 aged worse than other consoles. You know what I'm saying? Like I. Like, it's because of the the frame rate and the limits, the limitations. Of, which is weird, because, like, the NES has way more limitations, objectively, obviously. But it feels more polished? I don't know. Worse than the NES? Kind of, yeah. Because, yeah. like... Super Mario Zoli for your hammer broke? But that was Mario 3. Fake fan chatter. OG Mario did not age well either. I disagree. I could play this game until I die. I think that's a great game. Straight up. I think this game just has legacy, dude. It's a per... It's, it feels amazing. I don't want to say it's a perfect game, but like this one. Ocarina of Time is good, but like... It's gotta be Mario. It has to be Mario. It has to be Mario. It has to be... Oh. Again, it invented a genre, but this game gave me my life. <laughs> it has to be Brawl. It has to be Brawl. Also, Project M. Without this, there's no PM. So, think about Ness down here. It's Brawl. It hurts to do, but it is Brawl. Mario 3, right? Damn, I'm surprised so many people agreed. I thought there'd be more Kirby fans here. Yeah, no, it's Mario 3. It's definitely Mario 3. Yeah. I forgot about that Kirby game. It's a good game, but it does feel a little like like chewing gum, right? Like, th like a Kirby game will never change the way I think about the world. Mario 3 is such a hipster pick? No. This is my favorite 2D Mario. 
Mario 3, I, I think, is better than World. I love that game. <laughs> it's very three solely for your hammer bro clip. <laughs> okay, thank you, handsome. That's true. That was a funny clip. That was a good clip. <laughs> now, to be fair, I do hear that the Oracle series is great. I hear that the Oracle series is underrated. Everybody loves these games that have tried them, you know, the, the, the seasons or whatever. But arms nice. Arms nice, bro. What do you mean? Huh? Why? Why? Why do you make me make this choice? Oh, I love both these games for different reasons. One of these has Ochi. I think Ochi makes the game worse. Ochi makes the combat trivial. In 4, you just run into an enemy and it just dies. Good bait? I'm not baiting. Most of the enemies in Pikmin 4 die in one slam. You just doof and then they die. I think I like 3 more from a gameplay perspective. I watched a couple videos about Pikmin 4 once it dropped and I beat it. And they made the point that like 4 is a lot like 2 in all the caves and the other underground stuff. And a lot more like focused. Um, in terms of like having one linear thing that you do. But 3, I loved the multitasking. And being up in the world. Like, the challenges in 3 are so fun, because you, there are so many things that are going on at once, and you have three different captains, which normally I wouldn't like. Pikmin 3 is excellent. Pikmin 3 is perfect execution, yeah. But there's one moment in Pikmin 4 that I will never forget. Um, and I'm, I'm going to assume I can spoil this now. I think a lot of people have already played through the game, and it's not a big spoiler or anything. That Olimar shit in Pikmin 4... Blew my fucking mind. I'm not going to say what it was, but that was crazy. Pikmin 4 is huge. It's a huge game. It's giant. I'm not going to say what it was. I told you the, the Olimar thing. People, know, people that know what happens know what I'm talking about. People that don't, don't. Right? Too big, some may say? I would not say that. As a Pikmin fan, I never got bored. I loved this game. I could play it forever, and it kept going, but in a fun way. Most games, if they keep going, I get annoyed. I'm like, dude, wrap it up. I love this game. I want to know what it was? Look it up. You can look it up. It's easy to find. I'm not going to spoil it. Something happens with Olimar in the game, and it's great. Opinion on how they changed the logo? Oh, I hate it. I don't like the new logo, but I don't think anybody does. I love both of these games, but I think... I think I like three. Two might be my least favorite. Isn't that weird? Oh, we're clear, by the way. We're clear, in case you spoilers. Two might be my least favorite. I think I would go four... One, three, two. Or four, three, one, two. But they're all good. It's four, though. Um, I'm not really a Tropical Freeze guy. Which is weird, right? You would think so, because I like Donkey Kong Country, but I'm not a big... Like, it, chat said that this Donkey Kong era feels Disney-fied, and I'm going to stick... I'm, that's now my opinion. That's my opinion now. I took it. Because that's how I kind of feel. It's still good. They're great, but like... I don't know. I feel like they're a little too clean, you know? Plus, it's Melee. Come on. That's my opinion. I came up with that. Well, uh, I was going to say this is tough, but it's not, right? Like, Splatoon's very good, and it spawned, you know, not a new genre, but... I mean, it's Mario 64, bro. Come on. Right? You got to give it up. <laughs> you know, I've never played either of these. It's not Metopia. 
Come on. Miitobia bangs? Guys, come on. Come on. Who's the contrarian now? Huh? It's you. You are. Why are you saying you? Wait, this day this game does have blushy crushy. Wait, no, you're right. I forgot about blushy crushy. <laughs> Coney, stop fooling. We all know you're not picking Xenoblade 2. I, I was going to. And ironically, I was going to. I've never played Miitopia. Chad is saying Miitopia. No, you guys are baiting. It's Xenoblade. It's Xenoblade. It's Xenoblade. It has to be. Shut up. Shut up. It's, it's, it's Xenoblade. Shut up. It's Xenoblade, dude. It's not going to win the next round. Just let it through. Mario World, right? Mario World. Has to be. Yep. Ah, uh, ooh. <laughs> the worst Smash Bros. versus Twilight Princess. This is a seeding issue. Yeah. Alright. Now we get into round two. Now we're in round two. Alright. Splatoon 3 versus Zelda. Uh, Zelda. Has to be. Has to be. Zelda changed the game, bro. No, it's Zelda. Zelda changed the game. I'm not even a Zelda guy, but I've never played any Splatoon either. Zelda changed the game, dude. Oh, wow, they randomized seedings again. Because Xenoblade I just voted on. Uh, Mario Waker wins this. Yeah, I told you it would lose round two. There you go. Chat... <laughs> Just do it. It's actually Paper Mario. Dread is an Invader Zim girl game. No, it's actually Paper Mario. No, it's Paper Mario. It's Paper Mario. No, because Dread is very good, but and I said this when I played it. Dread feels like a super-sized Game Boy Advance game. It feels like a Game Boy Advance game that got given human growth hormone. And it's, like, good, but, like, you know, you already made that Metroid, bro. Like, Fusion, yeah. Thousand Year Door, I think, is is timeless. Dread is, like, good for the... Like, it, it, was, it was good because we haven't had a Metroid game in a long time, and it was very good, but I think Thousand Year Door... Like, as much as I do think it's overrated, I think it, I can see why people love it. Also, I like that jump. Without it, we would never get I like that jump. Uh, Metroid wins. Right? Yeah, no dissension from the... Damn, I never noticed Ridley got a four-pack. Damn, he looking kind of... <laughs> look at those abs. I'm really kind of... Look at the... Look at the, the... He ain't got no pecs, though. Bro has pectus excavorium. What is that thing called when your chest caves in on it? Pectus excavorium? I feel like I'm in potions class. <laughs> Excavatum, yeah. Where you can eat cereal out of your chest. Yeah, that one. Seems like a good uh, X Men mutant power to have. Some cereal and some milk, just right. <laughs> it's Metroid, yeah. I have a slight reverse of that. What do you mean? Wait. The reverse of that is this. This is the reverse of Pectus Excavatum. You're Lucario. <laughs> you know, if I could spike coming out of your chest. That shit kind of dangerous. Bro got a chest burster, yeah. <laughs> um... Kirby wins. No question. Kirby wins. That's it. Oh, here comes the chat. Here comes... Somebody said this game was perfect earlier. Does Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story have MC Ballyhoo? I don't think so. It actually does. No, it doesn't. I, I'm not going to believe you just because I've never played this. Okay. <laughs> I like Mario Party 8.
You know what? Here's how I'm going to rationalize this. Because <laughs> everybody says this is a great game. Mario Party 8 was the first Mario Party on the Wii. And so the developers had to come up with new creative inventive ways to get the motion controls to work. And I think they succeeded um, amazingly. Uh, here, let me show you what I mean. There's actually a video uh, of what they did to make the game <laughs> work so well. Check out this game from Mario Party 8. <laughs> the fact that he, he gets off that screen so fast makes me think that it's Mario controlling the Wii Remote. Like, he's showing everybody, okay, here's how we play. You gotta shake up the can, and this is how you use the remote. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay, and let's start the game. Let's start it off. Here we go. Let's start it off right now. <laughs> hey, Mario's very embarrassed. Mamma Mia! <laughs> no, it's a great game. Very good game. Mario Party clears. Uh, it's Galaxy. No, it's Galaxy. The reason I hesitated is because, like, Galaxy is weird, and I don't know if you guys have this experience. I feel this way about Galaxy and Galaxy 2, where the game's paces are so slow that, like, once I turn them on and start playing, I'll play it for a long time, and I love it. It's fun. But turning it on is a chore. I'm like, dude, do I really want to play that? It's like, uh, I don't know. Once you turn it on, it's fun. But before, but like before you do it, you're like, uh. But no, it's Galaxy 2. RCS did have a four-hour tutorial. Is that true? I mean, Melee wins this. A lot of people don't like the Switch version of Animal Crossing. Yeah, Melee wins. Has to. Uh, I mean, is, is it me? I pick? I haven't played Link Between Worlds, but whenever it comes to a mobile Zelda game, I don't care. We go Mario Party. I'm sorry. It'll lose next round. Animal Crossing wins this easy. Skyward Sword, people say, is the worst one. <laughs> Ooh. Huh. Two games that have aged terribly for different reasons. Yeah. Theaters don't care that they carpool. Coney, we know the answer. I don't know if you do, man. Goldeneye is more novelty? That is definitely not true. When you go into a bonus room in Donkey Kong 64, you don't know what the fuck is going to happen. I forget. There are so many different bonus room games that I forget. I, like, I get into the bonus stage, and I'm like, wait, what do I do? Oh, I got to shoot the coconuts at the shooting gallery on the Kremlings, but then they... That game is... Welcome to bonus stage. I love that. Love that. GoldenEye is revolutionary, but DK is funny. I don't know who wins. Seriously. Because, like, I'm trying to think of, like, in their time. I think just by virtue of aging better, Donkey Kong wins. I think it did age better, if only because it's not a, a walking corpse. Like, Donkey Kong aged pretty bad, but it's like... Donkey Kong is like a... Like a depressed, balding 60-year-old without purpose... And Goldeneye is dead. <laughs> One of these is alive. You know what I'm saying? It's Donkey Kong. I mean, this is... It's Mario Party. That's it. It invented a genre. You know, this one, I feel like, deserves a bit more thought. I mean, it is blue. It is Pokemon, but 
let's not, you know, let's not downplay the achievements of Mario Maker. Being able to make a, a, a Mario, making a Mario game where you make Mario games. What a concept, right? That's honestly amazing, but this game started like a worldwide phenomenon, right? It's gotta be Pokemon. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this one's interesting. So Sunshine is longer and definitely has more novelty. Kony seems to value legacy a lot. Kind of. I, I value if a game... I don't think I it, it's one thing to make a great game for its time right make a make a game that like changed the world when it comes out but it's another game that it's another thing to make a game feel timeless and like you can go back and play it now the pre Mario 64 Coney would vote banjo I think so too I think that game kind of worked my perception sunshine is the worst 3d Mario I love I think sunshine's great but I do think that I think that Sunshine is so sprawling, there are moments that are... That... <laughs> this is going to sound really weird to say. There are moments where Nintendo's ambition outreaches its competency. There are some times in Sunshine where it's like, you really wanted to make this boat thing work, right? Like at the end of Sunshine, that boat level, you're like, you really wanted to do this boat thing. You didn't do it well... You could have thrown it away, but you really wanted to make that happen. I think Kazooie top to bottom is a pleasure. I don't think there's anything bad about Kazooie. People say Rusty Bucket Bay, but I like Rusty Bucket Bay. I think the final boss in Kazooie sucks, actually. Uh, Gruntilda kind of sucks, but... <laughs> Kazooie is so streamlined, yeah. Where's Zero 99? <laughs> We're maybe later, okay? If you guys are good, we'll play F-Zero, all right? Your dog is named Banjo, not Flood. That's true. No, I think Banjo-Kazooie is like... I never... I could play Banjo-Kazooie every year until I die and 100% it. Mario Sunshine, I would get the blue coins and I would want to throw myself off a bridge. So we go Banjo-Kazooie, yeah. It's Major Kazooie. <laughs> Lucky Bumper! <laughs> Alright, uh. It's Mario Bros. Mario Kart Wii is good, but Mario Bros. is Mario Bros, bro. This shit was revolutionary. This shit just Mario Kart. Good Mario Kart, but it's Mario Kart. It's over. I know my answer. You want to convince me otherwise? My chatter said this game is kind of boring. And not going to lie, I kind of see it. I went back to play this again recently. And uh, getting the, the coins or the flowers or whatever, like the 100% things, is kind of annoying in this game. To 100% this. I think you had to be there at the time. I was not, and I didn't get it. Yeah, I don't know. I think, to me, Yoshi's Island is special, but I also think that's nostalgia. But I don't care. I like it. I mean, it's Pikmin, right? Is that, is that, do you, that's not just, like, recency bias, right? I don't remember anything about Superstar uh, Superstar Saga, and I beat it other than Fawful. I remember Fawful, and that's it. And the Bean Prince. Pikmin wins. Yeah. Straight up. Ooh. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Look at that. Oh, dude. Oh, man. I don't know. I played Majora's Mask. I've never played Wind Waker. People say that I wouldn't like it because of the, the boat shit. You're screwed either way. I, d I don't feel like I have an informed enough opinion to do this. 
boring games about depression. <laughs> Both of them? Are they? Everybody says Majora's Mask is all dark and fucked up, but it's not really. I I beat that game and it was like the tone is dark, but it, it not that much bad shit happens really, I don't think. Didn't you like Majora's Mask? I do like it. Yeah. Um it is pretty fucked up for a Nintendo game. Maybe I just don't remember it. I think the atmosphere is dark, but I don't remember like a lot being that Scary? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Everyone dies. What are you saying? Yeah, but that's not... An apocalypse is it? How do I put this? Everybody dying in the game as a fail state is not necessarily like a fucked up uh, ending. Technically, if Mario doesn't stop Bowser, everyone dies in the Mushroom Kingdom. You just don't see it as clearly, right? Pretty much every game is an apocalyptic fail state. You know what I'm saying? But they show it. But they don't show... If Majora's Mask showed me a toddler getting crushed by the moon, I would definitely say it. But it doesn't. It doesn't show any harm or any blood or anybody getting hurt. It just, like, shows the... And that's it. It, it collides into buildings. If I saw some red blood... <laughs> If I saw some violence, maybe I would agree. Do you remember the Zora guy who died and you pull his corpse to the beach? No. Did that happen? <laughs> ah, I don't remember. I'm pulling this one. This is in your hands. Because I don't know enough about Zelda. I'm going to let my Zelda friends decide what this is. Remember, you can vote. Uh, everybody gets one vote. You get two votes if you pay 500,000 Kony coins. Congratulations. And hey, if you're running low on Kony coins, don't worry. You can always subscribe to get more. By the way, this is a great time to tell you guys that ads will be in three minutes. I got no snoozies left. We're going to have ads in three minutes. If you don't want to see ads, subscribe with Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime is a free win. Subscribe to the stream. You can find it right below the stream. Just hit continue subscription or subscribe for the first time. If you don't have a Twitch Prime available right now or you foolishly use that on someone else, don't worry because for this month only, Twitch subs are half off for your first time. What? Twitch subs are half off for your first time. What? Twitch subs are half off currently for September. Only $2.50. Just go below the stream and hit that button. Subscribe to the Coney stream. And you get to be on the stream just like this. Check it out. It's 30% off? Oh, is it? That kind of sucks. <laughs> All right, never mind. I thought it was half off. It's 25% off. Wait, so you get a dollar twenty-five off? <laughs> what is that? No way. The maskers have it, bro. Don't ever say your vote doesn't matter. You know the crazy thing? There are 2,000 people in this chat. And only about less than 500 people voted. You could have changed the world. You could have changed the face of this poll, and you didn't. Man. You blew it. I forgot to vote. Please re-vote. No. It's too late. Majora's Mask wins. I don't care about Zelda, Kony. Based. Promote that chatter. Ooh. Ooh. This one feels impossible to do. Ultimate is a miracle game. No, I agree, but this feels impossible to do without, like, more years and time to... And time. Ultimate, you don't even like World. I love World. I think Mario World's great. I just don't think it's as good as... I like 3 better, but that's my own thing. I think I'm, I would give it to Ultimate just by its sheer ambition and its... You're right, it is a miracle game. The amount of shit in it, the amount of stuff and content and just things to do is absurd. But I do wish we had a little bit more time to, like, let it cook, you know? 
ultimate is only considered a miracle game because the one before it dropped the ball. That might be true, yeah. I don't necessarily disagree. I think it, it's looked at fondly because the last game felt like a misstep in, in, in hindsight. But I still don't think that's necessarily a problem. I don't think that changes thing. I think it's still ultimate. This one's easy. Straight up. By the way, remember those ads I told you about? Six seconds. I told you they were coming. Can't stop them. They're dropping right now. You thought I was bluffing. Here come the ads. Ads are coming. See you soon. Subscribe to Twitch Prime. I told you to do it. You didn't believe me. Here come the three minutes. Send them. No, Pikmin wins, clearly. It's got to be Mario. It has to be Mario. It has to. Like, GX is great, but it has to be Mario. It's Super Mario, dude. Now, I haven't played F-Zero GX, but I will. I'll check back in a month, okay? <laughs> I'll check back in a month. Oh, shit. It is, it is a hydrogen bomb versus coughing baby. <laughs> oh, my God. How did this happen? What a weird matchup. Okay. Fellas. Hear me out. What is the best game in Wii Sports? What's the best sport in Wii Sports? Right? Hold on. Let's let's make sure we all agree. The best sport in Wii Sports is... That's right. Boxing. Do you notice how everybody said boxing? Everyone said boxing. Now, what is ARMS? If not... Wii Sports Boxing take it to the next level. ARMS is super Wii Sports Boxing. And I think when you compare it to the tech demo that is Wii Sports, the answer is clear. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people just clicked off the video. A lot of people. I, I'm going to see my viewer retention just... <laughs> I'm not trolling. I mean that. I love ARMS. I think it's a great game, and I wish it stayed longer. You lost like 100 viewers. Hey, I'm not here to agree with you, okay? I'm here to tell you straight. I'm 100% editing that part out. Somebody's got a comment. What happened to Wii Sports? <laughs> Where did Wii Sports go? Why did... What happened? <laughs> Why was Wii Sports gone? We don't talk about what happened to Wii Sports. I'm just saying, will Tears of the Kingdom be around in 10 years? Only one of these games can put the system on its back for a fucking decade. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's gotta be the, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game. <laughs> I love the way Nintendo does that, by the way. That shit is so funny to me. No, it's Brawl. WarioWare is great, but it's Brawl. WarioWare, this is fantastic, right? Fantastic game. Did a lot with the Wii Remote. WarioWare, show up your own ass game, you know? Should look like a deal, though. But it's Brawl. It is. It just is. It has to be this. This is like a uh, this is like a Mario Party clip show. It's really good, but it's Mario RPG, just for the legacy of it. You know what I mean? I do think this game is overrated, but I think it's good. I think this game was very influential if you played it at that time in your life. It is to it, it like the same way that we said that about Yoshi's Island. I was a Yoshi's Island kid, and that game is very important to me. If you played Mario RPG at this time, it's probably very important to you. I think that's a big deal. But I do think Gino is a nothing character. And I think the remake just only being a graphical update is kind of a, a shitty thing to do. But...
Whew. Uh, Coney in a tight spot. Do I vote with my head or with my heart? Listen, Mario Odyssey, I think, is the best 3D Mario game. It's huge, sprawling. I love the idea that, like, I actually love all the moons. Like, the fact that you can get moons all over the planet. You know, they're all over the place. But I've played a lot of 3D Marios. I've only played one Mario Strikers Charged. This game is... Unlike anything and I really mean that and it sucks because you guys will never experience it if you guys haven't played this <laughs> Bro just pick charge already stop stalling. Where do you think you are first time chatter? You just walked into the fucking saloon and told the the, the guy at the piano what to play Why don't you go take a break? All right, I'll see you on Tuesday. What the hell is this guy doing? Just walk in. Hey, turn that shit off. Everybody, just fire on that guy. What the fuck? The first time chatter coming in here? I'll see you next time. <laughs> what the fuck is Medics, attend to that man. All right, but no, he was right. I'm picking charge. <laughs> he was right. He was right. I was just explaining my reasoning, okay? I like to give you guys a little bit of explanation. That's all. I mean, this is peak Animal Crossing, right? Minus one viewer. <laughs> I'll take the hit. If I could ban all 2,100 of you, I would. But it would take too long. <laughs> uh, this is like the best Animal Crossing, apparently. But Earthbound is Earthbound, man. It has to be. It's Earthbound. It's Earthbound. It's fucking Earthbound. Uh, it, it has inspired some of the, the biggest games ever. It's very good. It's Earthbound. There's only 2,000 of us? Oh, oh, this just updated. You're right. I guess 100 people left and ran out of the saloon because they got scared. <laughs> they heard the gunshots and had to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Ooh, this is hard. Well, not for me. <laughs> Maybe for you. I bet this is hard for the... U I bet the people watching this YouTube video are like, Oh, man, what's Coney going to do? This is so hard. Look at these two. No, it's not hard. But I, I do... I could see your trouble. I could see people having trouble with this. It's hard for people who only play Breath of the Wild. No, I think that, like... If you play 64 now, it sucks. I don't know if 64 is still good now. Like, with the camera and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Like, not true. Really? 64 holds up. Does it hold up if you never played it? Like, if you've... Like, obviously, you guys say it held up, but did you play it before? If you have never played 64 and you play it today, would it be good? I don't think it does. I think it would feel like a Unity game. You could find a lot of Mario 64s on Steam for a dollar right now. I'm sorry, Godot Games. <laughs> Is that what we're saying instead of Unity? Game Maker? What do you want? No, oh, shit's easy. It's Pikmin 2. Period. Done. I mean, just Legacy we go here. Because this is a sports game and it's a sequel. We have to go Link to the Past. I mean, it's Tetris, bro. Right? Cody, you're old. <laughs> Why is that your response when you see these two games? Tetris is considered by many to be the best game ever made.
Everyone can play Tetris. No. It's Tetris. Galaxy's very good, but it's Tetris. Ooh, okay. So now we get to stop talking about all that bullshit about legacy and history and which game deserves to win. Now I get to tell you what's up. This is where I get to take the wheel and actually tell you what I think. Because now at this point in the, in the rankings, all these games are good, right? We know all these games are good. They're great games, whatever. But now it's just personal preference. And it's Mario. <laughs> Zelda is boring. And it takes too long, and I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I need a map or a walkthrough, and that shit sucks. Mario 3, go right. Go to the right. Sometimes go up. Wow. Sometimes go down. But you always know where to go. Way more fun. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of relieved. Because the, the Paper Mario guys can't be mad at me. Hey, bro, it's just it's objective truth. Spawn the most profitable media franchise of all time. I can't, you can't be mad at me. Can't be mad at me. Now, if it was against another game, I would say that it's aged very poorly and there's a lot of backtracking and a lot of the dialogue that you remember so well hasn't really held up as much. And that it's definitely showing its age and you probably like it because you were attached to it when you were younger and it made a very big impression on you. And that's why you like it so much and not because it's an actually fantastic game. That's what I would say if it was against a game that didn't change the landscape of gaming as we see it. But it did, so Pokemon has to win. It has to. Says the Earthbound fan. <laughs> Yo, Earthbound with Rewind goes crazy. If they put Rewind in Thousand Year Door, I might like it. Wait, that wouldn't even work with backtracking. Wait. Because you would have to get the item and then rewind. No, that doesn't work. L game. Corpo Coney can't argue against Pokemon. It makes too much money. Bro, I don't even like Pokemon. And I can appreciate it. They have plushies of all 1,000 Pokemon. Do you understand that? And you buy all of them. Do you understand that? <laughs> you are in a chokehold. Name 14 Pokemon. Um, And I won't do evolutions. Charizard. Squirtle. Metapod. Sandshrew. Mr. Mime. Um, Golem. Gasly, Dratini, Miltank, Chansey, Pikachu, Eevee, Psyduck, Kakuna. 14. Yeah, I'm a Gen 1 -er. Yeah, those are the most memorable. <laughs> Why do you think they popped into my head? <laughs> Pokemon wins. Why Miltank? I don't know. I think it's the, the, the Cindy's Miltank or whatever people memed about. Tetris wins. Mario Maker's good. Tetris wins. <laughs> Ooh, that's hard. That's actually hard, though. Donkey Kong 64 kind of mid, though? I don't... We know you'll pick 64. Well, no, I'm trying to pay respect to RPG. RPG is good. It's just... I don't think it's that good. I thought Donkey Kong 64 sucked. No. it's ju It sucks if you're trying to 100% it. Oh, although, I don't remember. Maybe it's really, like, you have to get a lot to finish the game. Like, if you need to get 90% of bananas, it sucks. If you need to get, like, 50, it's fine. I don't know. They ain't remaking 64. <laughs> they should. They really should. You need to get over 100. <laughs> Nobody would buy it. That's not true. You know what? I told you that these were going to be biased picks. I love the N64 uh, collectathon genre. This is the zenith of that. This is if somebody made a joke about 
collectathons and made it real. And it's that. It has to. Blue bananas? Why? <laughs> You know what? This one, I'm sure, like, seems hard. But it's it's not. It's not. Honey, can you link this bracket when you're done so we can do it? Sure. This one's not that hard. Remember before how I was saying that I think Donkey Kong Country is the perfect game and Pikmin 4 is great, but it feels a little, you know, the Ochi ad feels a little bit too strong? I think it's Donkey Kong Country. That's just me. I love uh, Pikmin 4, but I think the Ochi thing does change stuff a bit. This one's interesting. I was going to say, because Mario Party 1, like, spawned a genre, but so did Super Metroid, kind of. Would you put Pikmin 1 over Donkey Kong Country? No. I think Donkey Kong Country edges out slightly, but Pikmin 1 is, like, just under it. But it is closer. Yeah. Mario Party 1 kind of sucks. I don't really care. <laughs> One, I like the first Mario Party. I actually really like it. Um, but that's, again, I was around for it. But two, I I think it deserves some, some leniency for creating a fucking genre, right? A digital board game. Try playing it now. Maybe I will. It's Mario Party. I know people are going to be mad at me. I think it's Mario Party. Sorry. Oh, dude. My scrimblows. My scrimblows! Oh, no. My two scrimblo games. Where uh, a funny animal is carrying another thing. Oh, my God. This is Sophie's choice, yeah. I think it's Banjo, though. I love both these games, but I think it's Banjo. I think Banjo's better. I think Yoshi's Island is great, but... I, well, I don't know. You know what's crazy? Hold on. I wanted to go Banjo-Kazooie, and then a song came into my head, and it changed my mind, and I don't even know why. Was it this one? Wait. Wait. That's not the one. It's another boss song. It's a boss song, but it's the one that I love. Hold on. Oh my god. I love this song. Oh, go back to the beginning. Hold on. I love this track so much. I love this song. It's so, it's just so cool. It's so cute. Coney, this is played at my local church. It sounds like it, right? It sounds like an organ, right? When you're standing up and shaking the hands of everybody around you. I could see it. Me when I get swallowed by a frog. Me when I have to shoot a frog's uvula with eggs. Dude, I don't know. I actually don't know. I think... I think moment to moment, Banjo-Kazooie is better. But I think Yoshi's has the higher peaks.
It's Banjo. It's Banjo. It's Banjo. It's Banjo. It's Banjo. It's Banjo. It wouldn't be fair for me to pick Donkey Kong 64 and not pick Banjo. It's Banjo. I hate to do it. I hate to do it. Oh, no! No! Oh, my God, dude. Uh, all right. Again, we have to get into personal opinion. We have to get into personal opinion here. Oh, fuck me. Fuck, dude. How do I articulate my feelings? Pikmin is a perfect game, but I think Mario 64, even with its flaws, is better. I think 64 wins. Like, Pikmin is a perfect game. It's in my top 10 of all time. I fucking love that game. And I love 64, but not as much. But Pikmin's weird, and I love it for that, for being weird and different and goofy. But 64 is like... You can't deny it. You literally can't. And I feel so bad about it. I feel so bad about that. Vote with your heart? I can't. I can't. No. I. To me, it's Pikmin 1. But I can't ignore Mario 64. I can't. I can't. It's your list? No, but it's not really. It's... It, I gotta... I gotta factor in everything. Now, Mario Kart 64, I said before... Could that keep selling a system for 10 years, right? I mean, but could Mario Kart Deluxe be selling a system for 22 years? I don't know. I, I, I maybe actually. <laughs> I, I think it's Melee. Oh, it's Kirby. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it's Kirby. It would it would be wrong for me to say Earthbound now, wouldn't it? Cause like don't act like this is hard. No, it is. Because Mario knocked out... what I forget what it was, but it was a really hard choice before. It would be wrong for Earthbound to win now. Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Mario Bros. knocks out Ocarina of Time, but I'm like, well, I mean... But Earthbound, though, that would feel kind of fucked up. It, it is Mario. Earthbound is great, but it is Mario. It is Mario. It's Mario. Earthbound is fantastic. It's... It's Mario. Oh! <laughs> it's charged. Mario Party 8 kind of sucks, actually. They had all these shitty, like, motion control gimmicks. The boards are awful. It's not a good game. It's very bad. Ah. Uh. It's my list. I get to pick. Animal Crossing. Eat shit. It's Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas. Hear me out. If ARMS got DLC, would we still be playing it? I think we might be. I think if ARMS had consistent updates with new characters, we might still be on that. <laughs> Why are you no, no, knowing? <laughs> the, the no, no, no is so funny to me in the chat. Ah, uh ah, -uh, no, Coney, not this time. No, no. <laughs> no, not, you can't do it this time. Uh, I think I you know I think this is where we get off the arms train. I can't find a way to spin this. I really can't. But the innovation though. 
What about the the um the the combo Yabuki? That was his name, right? The Yabuki combo. You bounce him off the thing and right. What innovation? That shit like we boxing, but good. It's like a full game. <laughs> I want arms. Uh, it's ultimate. I'm sad. I wanted to see how far arms could go. Because I, 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 I'm not... Again, this seems like I'm like playing it up or whatever. I'm giving my real thoughts here. I think arms could have beaten another game maybe, but not ultimate. Ultimate just is better. It has to. Two sequels. Two way harder sequels. Right? Two game two sequels that like really uh But this is the last Pikmin rep. Oh, that's sad. Galaxy 2 is just an expansion pack. Yeah, but Pikmin 2 is less of what I loved about Pikmin. Which is like you just yeah, it's caves and shit underground. I don't like it as much. No timer in Pikmin 2? I think that's worse. I think that removes a lot. This only works if you think Galaxy 2 is better than Galaxy 1. I mean, I think Galaxy 2 is objectively better than Galaxy 1. It's just the same thing, but more. You can make the argument that 1 is better because of the novelty and the creativity. Is it not? I mean, that's how I remember it. I remember 2 just being the same thing, but more of it. I think the timer made Pikmin better, by a lot. All I'm saying is I've, I, I have a playthrough right now on my Steam Deck, halfway through Pikmin 2, and I don't know if I'm going to finish it. It's, it's annoying me, more than anything. I think Pikmin walks this very hard line where it's like, if it's too easy, like Pikmin 1, it's a snooze fest. If it's annoying, like Pikmin 2, it's not fun. I don't know how you, how you balance that. You know what I mean? How did you do that? Oh, did I leak something? Yeah, Pikmin 2 is coming to Steam. <laughs> yup, Pikmin 2 coming to Steam soon. I got a beta key. I have a playtest, yeah. Yeah, very soon, yep. Think about Louis. I do love Louis. Louis is one of my favorite video game characters now. He is so funny. <laughs> it's like Louis, Dutch Vanderland, <laughs> Dogen from Psychonauts. <laughs> there's like not. There's like a very small list. Dogen, that's from Sekiro. Dogen from Sekiro? I don't remember that. Dogen's the kid. Hold on. I think that was his name. Yeah, this kid. Dogen Bull. <laughs> this character's funny as shit. Oh, by the way, Mallory said that she was going to play uh, Psychonauts after Bug Snack. So, W Mal. I can't wait for her to play this game. I love this game. I love Psychonauts. God, I love Psychonauts, dude. Two is so good, too. Oh. I don't think Psychonauts 1 holds up as well, because it's, like, the controls are kind of shitty, but... Game is ugly, yeah, but I love it. Which Psychonauts do you like better? Uh, I, I think 1 is... I don't know. I like them both a lot for different reasons. 2 is a lot more polished and cleaner. One deals. One feels like a Saturday morning cartoon. One deals with more in-depth shit, but I like the way that it handles it. I think it does it in a really cool way. Couldn't get into the first game. Yeah, I have some friends who said that they couldn't get into Psychonauts 1. Said it was kind of slow, which I get. I love them both, though. They're both great. One has Milkman, though. Dude, I didn't like the Milkman level that much. I liked the war level. Now we can just talk about Psychonauts all night. Sorry, I love Psychonauts. <laughs> I like the, the war level in Psychonauts 1 and the stage level, obviously, the theater level. Milkman level is ass. Yeah, I thought it was kind of basic. It's creatively cool, but 
Fuck the circus. Dude, it wasn't that bad. I like the meat circus. That was a fun level. Two actually hired some mental health professionals to correctly depict some of the stuff. Two felt very real in a cool way. But also it was kind of lame because, like, the, the, the kid characters, like the interns or whatever, weren't, like, part of the game. And your family is, like, such a such an afterthought when you pick them up and put them in the parking lot like I don't know there was a lot of missed opportunities but sorry I love Psychonauts play Psychonauts I love those games um it sucks that Pikmin's out dude but I think Galaxy 2 wins like I hate that I've knocked out all of Pikmin but PM yeah Brawl and PM tip this over it's Brawl I don't think it's hard. It's Brawl. Zelda's dead. <sighs> Sequel versus Originator. Ultimate Clears, I'm sorry. Yeah, but Mario Party created fucking Mario Party. And Crash Bash. And Sonic Royale, or whatever the, the... What was his game called? <laughs> One is not good. I don't care. It's about the invention of the of the, the game. Sonic Shuffle. Of course, Austin would know that. You would. Tokapon Kingdom. Yeah. See, Sam knows. It's ultimate. I don't like saying that, but it's ultimate. Yeah. Oh, we're getting into the... Okay, here we go. Set, top 16. We're getting into it now. This one's easy, right? This one clears. One is good and one is okay, right? Banjo Kazooie is just the same thing but more refined. Banjo Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64 is like Banjo Kazooie if it was dipped in the forced evolutionary virus from Fallout. I know that's a deep cut, but it's basically a thing that turns you into a super mutant. It's just like bigger and dumber and uglier. That's what Donkey Kong 64 is. It's just a fucking mutant. Banjo wins. <sighs> hey, it's my list, bro. And hey, you know, you know, I may be I may be a boomer. I may be a little bit older, but I remember popping this into my NES at daycare and playing for 6 hours. I it's it's 3, bro. It's 3. And you know what? <laughs> it's still my list. And even though I said that this won earlier because it changed the game and everybody loves it, nothing, nothing is Mario Strikers Charged. Nothing is this game. Animal Crossing is great, and they're still making it, whatever. But if they were still making Mario Strikers Charged, I would still be playing that shit. Unfortunately, we got that other Strikers game, which I am a champion in. Wait. Now, <laughs> I may be a world champion in Mario Strikers, as you can see with this trophy. I don't know if you guys can read that. Yeah, the Grand Pooh Bear Strikers Cup. Yeah, the Strikers tournament that I won. I told... What do you mean, barely? I shit on everybody there. Dude, dude, I told Grand Pooh Bear. I... Did you hear that? Was that... I thought I heard a noise. Was that in the song? Did you guys play a trumpet? What... Okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. Maybe it was a thing. You heard that, right? Okay, whatever. Yeah, I, I, I remember telling Grand Pooh Bear, I said, do not put me in that tournament. It won't be fun. And then he did, and it wasn't fun. Easy W. If they still make good Strikers games, I would still be playing them. There's nothing like this. It's soccer. It's fucking not. It's charged football. And you will never know the joys of playing Mario Strikers Charged. You will never know what it's like to play this game online. Perfect online, by the way. Perfect online. It was it was fantastic. It's Mario Bros. Oh, PM though. Oh, I forgot about PM though. Here we go. Wait. I T was me X D D. If that popped a little sooner with that music, it would have been great. 
You literally cannot play Mario Bros. without... Well... Let's be real, you can't keep using PM. I can do whatever I want, Chatter. I could ban you right now if I wanted. I could do that. I won't, but I could. Just know the option's there at any moment. I have a gun with infinite bullets. You're not getting the night off, but you need to watch your tone. I'm a good chatter. <laughs> it's like when Gordon Ramsay takes somebody to the side. Hey, you donkey. Do you want to stay in this chat tonight or not? Get it fucking together. Jesus Christ. Uh, it's, I think it's Mario Bros. You can play Mario Bros inside of Brawl. <laughs> Wait, that's true. Wait, but which one is that a point for? I think that's a point for Mario Bros because the legacy. Actually, Chatter, you turned it the other way. You fucked it up. Wait, you turned it the other way. That meant that Mario's legacy is so good that it kills Brawl. Because Brawl is just a bunch of games mashed together. You blew it. <laughs> you guys are going to be mad at me. I think you guys might be mad at me. And I, I'm not, I'm not, again, I, I, I want to stress this. This is not a bit. This is not a joke. This is not me doing anything for content. I think Kirby's Adventure is a fantastic game. It's like a it's a great experience. Do you even like Kirby? I like this in Superstar. Kirby doesn't have copy. Yes, he does. You're thinking of Kirby's Dreamland, which is on Game Boy. NES, he has co Wait, does he have copy? On the NES? I don't know if he does. He does, right? Yes, okay. Phew. <laughs> Kirby's Adventure is great. And without Kirby, there is no melee. So. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I've gone back and I've played Kirby like once a year. Melee, I don't really touch. Just me. Just me. My list. My list. Ooh. For me? For my list? For Coney? It's Donkey Kong. Comically large bee boss. Comically large beaver. <laughs> now I gotta, I gotta look. I wanna hear it now. Hold on. I gotta hear it. I love that shit. I love that shit. Look at the big ass beaver. Get him. <laughs> oh, he's so funny. <laughs> Why is he laughing? You know, I said that this game was perfect, but these boss fights do kind of suck. Come to think of it. I said that this game was a perfect game, but these are bad boss fights. When I was a kid, I wanted to land the banana on them, and I thought it would kill them, like in Mortal Kombat. I was a weird kid. I thought it would, like, land on them, and if I got it to land on them, it would go, like, Pfft. Maybe not, like, kill, like, blood, but, like, you know, they flatten out like a pancake. Donkey Kong Country 2 bosses were actually hard. They were annoying. Dude, the 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 uh the one in the crow's nest, the crow. <laughs> if you don't have Dixie for that, it's it's so annoying. Cuz you got to hold it over your head. Dude, the sword? Oh my god. By the way, Donkey Kong Country 2 wasn't in here. That's crazy. Um that's true. Yeah, Mario 64 bosses also suck. What's up with Mar with Nintendo and hand bosses? 
like a big ass eye and a hands. It's a lot of that. It's Donkey Kong Country. I think it's a perfect game. Straight up. Wow. Wow. You have to go Tetris? Okay. But hold on. Tetris may be the most popular, most uh, accessible... Easy to play game of all time. The hell is this song? Betty Botter Crisis title theme. Tetris may be the most accessible, popular, and best selling game of all time. But Pokemon made like $30 billion. The biggest franchise of anything ever. Former best selling game of all time versus highest grossing franchise overall. Woo! Is it former best selling game of all time? I'm playing Pokemon Yellow right now and it's Tetris. <laughs> yeah, but it didn't spawn a thing. By the way, this is so interesting, and forgive me for calling you out. I'm a I'm a lurker in chats too. It's always interesting to me when I see a first message from somebody that's not a C. Like a new sub, you know what I mean? Thanks for sticking by the stream. Don't mean to highlight you, because I know you've been here for three months without saying anything. But I always like seeing that. Thank you. Appreciate that. That's not very common. Um, talk more? No. I'm a lurker in streams. I don't say shit. My ass, my ass would be a first-time chatter in some streams with like the highest badge I am not a chatter you know what I'm not kidding with this either I think it's Pokemon Because, and, and hear me out, I'm the way that I'm thinking about this, Tetris has never really had a spinoff that, like, popped off. It didn't create a franchise. It hasn't created, like, a lasting, sort of, sprawling, uh, t not a Tetris verse or whatever? Tetris 99? Okay, d you know what I mean, though. Pokemon has spawned Pokemon games and Pokemon Snap and, like, MOBAs and all this other bullshit. It's, it's, it's affected the world, the real world, with merchandise and marketing and all that. I think it's, like, there's, like, all these Tetris knockoffs and, like, Tetris 2 and Tetris Attack and all that, but they don't really catch on. Tetris hasn't needed to do that. But I think that it speaks to the fact that, like, Tetris doesn't have as much, I don't want to say cultural pull, but, because, like, obviously, Tetris worldwide is probably more popular. But room for variety? I don't know. I think Pokemon is, like, I think both of these are worldwide phenomenons, but one is just kind of like it popped and then it, it's still here, but it's just kind of there in the background. This thing is still breaking records every year, right? You can't improve on Tetris is the issue. <sighs> this one's hard. Pokemon is making people sleep. I could go stack bricks in my backyard whenever I want. I'll go to jail if I start a cockfight. That's true, Chatter. The power fantasy is different between... I, I feel that, yeah. Also, you should get help, I think. You should talk to somebody. I'm going Pokemon. I know it's crazy. I know it's my list. It's crazy. I'm going Pokemon. I think it's Pokemon. I think it's Pokemon. I think culturally it's a bigger deal. Like, outside of the game. 
<laughs> so Kirby killed Melee. But. <laughs> but. <laughs> How do I talk myself out of this? I, I really do think Ultimate is better. I'm just trying to think of how to explain it. Coney, don't bother. I agree. <laughs> okay. I mean, Ultimate is everything, man. Ultimate is fucking everything. Everything from every franchise. Unironically charged. Oh my god. This is so hard. <laughs> Mario or Mario? Both of these games are so fun to play. Like, and Mario, Mario Bros. like spawned a whole franchise, right? You know it's a Kony stream because his top five is Mario, Mario, Mario. Hey, Mario be making good games. What do you want me to say, bro? Mario gets the Ws. Mario make the best games. Everybody know <laughs> is that Mario make the best games. Mario always wins, baby. <laughs> Come on now. Metroid? <laughs> Zelda? Come on now. Mario always wins. It's my list. You know what the bad part about Strikers is, though? You can't play it without a Wii Remote. So, like, it's... It's a pain in the ass to, like, play out of nowhere. Wait, seriously? Yeah. You have to play it on the Wii with a Wii Remote. Because... And, and it's done very well. There's an item system, so if you hit somebody when they don't have the ball, they get an item. Because low-level players would just spam attack, and it would clear a lot of the field. But good players would get the free items. So it had a lot of motion stuff, but... I, dude, I, I... For me, for me. For me. Coney, the little man that lives in your... The, the normal, average man that lives in your screen. It's Strikers. It is. It is. Dude, this is getting so hard. Oh, my God. This is getting impossible, dude. Oh, my God. I think it's Mario 3. No, I think it's Mario 3. <laughs> Which feels shit. Mario wins again. I think it's Mario 3. Maybe easier than I thought. <laughs> it's kind of funny that I picked Pokemon over Tetris because I talked about the uh, cultural conversation. Meanwhile, Donkey Kong hasn't had a game in a fucking decade. And I'm still going to pick him. <laughs> it's funny because people talk about Tetris as the perfect game. And I think Donkey Kong Country is a perfect game. I think it's Donkey Kong. I mean, I know which one I'd rather play. I know which one I'd rather play, straight up. <laughs> Just to be clear, I know which one I, I'll turn on right now, straight up. Had to tell a group in my college game room who was playing charge they couldn't use GameCube controllers and they hit me with the hog. Yeah, the Wii Remote thing really sucks, but yeah, I'd rather play this. Again, Ultimate is incredible, has all this stuff in the game, how did they do it? Uh, but it, 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 it's not charged. Which one changed your life more? <laughs> I mean, definitely Ultimate, but... This one feels bad. It's Mario? It's not. It's Donkey Kong. 
I think Mario is probably objectively a better game. But I like Donkey Kong. Except I never looked at his fingers. Have you ever looked at Donkey Kong's fingers on this box art? I just got reminded of that. Isn't that weird? Yeah, I like hot dogs. Look at these. These are long. Ugh. <laughs> Top two. You're not going to believe me? Ad starts in two seconds. I don't have a snoozy. I'm not making this up. Ad right now. Subscribe with Twitch Prime to get no ads. Subscribe right now with Twitch Prime or Tier 1. It's a free way to subscribe to the stream with a Twitch Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you have one. Just go below the stream and hit the button to subscribe, and then you can click the button to subscribe with Twitch Prime. Okay? Go ahead and click on that, or you could tier one with 30% off, 25% off maybe. It's like a dollar, whatever, for September. You could sub for cheap this month only in September. Go ahead and drop that sub, why don't you? Do it now, otherwise you're going to miss my top one. What will I pick? The drama. What could happen? Oh my god. Coney, do a prediction for best game. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Predicty is up. Why is there a pizza on Mario's shirt? Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> what if I accidentally clicked? And I couldn't go back? The ad was literally 15 seconds. Oh, you got a short one. Come on, guys. Drop those primes. Come on. We're almost at 3K. Oh, wait. They're watching ads. <laughs> Never mind. Let me see the votes. What is the best Nintendo game? Donkey Kong Country, Strikers Charged. Predictions about to run out. Go for points. Pull it for chat's opinion. That's true. I should pull it. Although I think I know what it's going to be. I'll pull it too. What do you like more, smiley face? I think most people have not played Mario Strikers Charge because, again, it's not easy to play. And if you play it on Dolphin, you don't really get the experience. Like, playing on Dolphin against the computer isn't the same as playing online. I also don't like soccer. Me neither, but the game's different. It says it's only visible to you, but I also see it. Yeah, because my stream is on. Yes, it's on my chat. On the... You. <laughs> okay. It means you, Chatter. It, you only can see. I can't see it. Only you see it, Chatter. How did you get infinite coins? Cheat codes. Yeah, 60% say Donkey Kong Country. Okay. The room looks bad. I know. Why is that ball orb over there? I don't know what he's... I don't know how he got there. <laughs> Weird. I know. I live in hell. He's reading chat. <laughs> Okay, ads are done. Here's the thing, chatters. This, to me, is an argument of...
permanence versus ethereality, if that's the word. I think that's a word. Donkey Kong Country is a permanent fixture, right? It's it's one of the greatest games I've ev I've ever played. One of my favorite games of all time. Perfect game, right? Five out of five. Strikers is one of the best games I've ever played against other people. It represents a time in my life I can never get back. Because the servers are down. There's nobody playing. Playing offline means you gotta bring a whole bunch of bullshit and uh, in the setup and the sensor bar and all that. Donkey Kong Country is always there for me. It's in my closet right there. I have the cartridge. I have it on the Switch. It's like... It's a reliable thing that I can always touch and, and feel and play and hold on to. But Strikers is just a memory. It's a feeling. It's a it's a it's a lost sort of like a phantom of something that used to bring me a lot of joy. And I think that is more that is more meaningful to me, I think. Having a game that represents like a specific time in my life with one of the most fun things I've ever played with people that I liked playing it against. I don't know. I think Mario Strikers Charge is the best game Nintendo's ever made. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Won by being dead. Kind of, yeah. I think so. Donkey Kong is going to live on forever. Donkey Kong Country is... It'll always be there. But Strikers was... A period in my life I can't ever get back. And you can't ever get back. It was a time... That only us who were there got to experience and enjoy. Nice bit. It's not a bit. I mean it. Come on. I'm serious, man. That me this game means a lot to me. Donkey Kong is also a dead franchise. Not as dead as Mario Soccer. Oh, I'm definitely linking it. Oh, you mean the thing? Hold on. I'm going to share my result on Twitter. But I don't want it to, to bring up Twitter and have my fucking... See, like this. What the fuck is Elon doing? What is this? If this had my messages pop up there, I'd be screwed. All right, hold on. All right. I'm posting it. Here we go. <laughs> this is also the link to, oh my God, this is disgusting. Okay. And it's their problem now. <laughs> Wait, it didn't even post the... Okay, it did post the picture. Okay. Isn't this that website you saw unspeakable things on? Yeah, be careful clicking on this link. There's full frontal nudity sometimes. Not a joke, by the way. That's not a bit. That happened to me. 25 games, the link. 25 games? What, my top 25 games? Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to do this fast, okay? I'm not going to spend too long on this. I, sp I promise, okay? Why was I searching that? Oh, I was in somebody's... I was in uh, Simply's chat when he choked a world record. Maybe it wasn't a weird world record. It might have been a... Uh, it was, it was recently. It was a few days ago. He was, like, up 12 seconds. And then, uh... I think it was Docs? No, it was Bowser 2. It was Fire Seek. Yeah. 
tough. All right, let me pay out. Oh, somebody else did it. Big ass gorilla, one year? That's it? Only been here a year, big ass gorilla? Congrats on the E, bro. Big ups. All right, top 25 games of all time. Let's make this fast. No order, okay? Psychonauts. Uh, Donkey Kong Country. Uh, Lisa. Because I forgot that first time. Uh, SSX3. Uh, yes. SSX3. Streets of Rage 2. Um, Amplitude. This is going to surprise you guys. This game is excellent. I'll tell you about it later. It's nice. Uh, maybe Twisted Metal Black. If we're talking about, like, top 25, it's up there, I think. Um, I guess I gotta put Brawl up there. <laughs> this Brawl. I guess I have to put Brawl up there, again, because of, of PM, uh, you know. Smash Bros. Brawl. Yeah. We'll just do Brawl. Fine. Tell us about Amplitude. It is a playable concept album in which you play as a woman who is trying to give the gift of synesthesia to her lover. And her lover is another woman. You're all neuroscientists, and you're trying to give her synesthesia, which is the experience of seeing color or uh, it's basically how your senses mix together. And it's like a playable concept album where you're performing brain surgery while playing the music while doing that. It's an excellent game. The game is fucking great. It's so good. I think it's kind of hard to play now. I don't know if it's on PS5 or PS4, but... That sounds fucking sick. It's very good. But you it's not told to you in the game. It's all you have to like discern it from lyrics and shit. And if you look at it at face value, it's just playing music, but if you like pay attention to the to the story, it's very cool. I love that fucking game. So you just spoiled it for us? Hell yeah. <laughs> it's a great game. I love that game. So you get us one over two? I mean they're a package deal. I love them both. Um probably Yoshi's Island is in there. A lot of Scrimblow games, right? Where do I go after this? Pikmin 1. Right. Obviously. Punch-Out? No. Amplitude is on PS4. Is that it? Yeah, okay. Strikers Charged. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. I did this semi-recently. Oh, Cuphead. Dude. Absolute Cuphead. Arms? <laughs> I did this semi-recently. Damn, I only got... I'm not even halfway done. Probably TF2. But not now. Like, old TF2, right? Bioshock, good answer. Yeah, definitely Bioshock. Probably get rid of that. Do the first one. Bioshock 2? I like 1 better. 2 is a better game, but 1 is... You know. Right? Bio shit, but all right. Leon, you're wrong. <laughs> you're straight up wrong. L, bro. Braid? Oh, true. I love Braid. I ain't even no point to the game. <laughs> yup! <laughs> That's good. Red Dead? Uh, I like Red Dead. I don't, I don't know if I put it on my top 25, though. Hold on. I'll do it this way. Can I look at my... Oh, I refunded Portal Combat, by the way. I'll buy it again, but not for 110 fucking dollars. <laughs> nice try, Ed. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Bro, really try to get me. All right. Uh, wait, perfect games. Oh, every achievement. I have every achievement in Soma. Irony of Nightmare. Russian gangsta in hell. I remember that one. Yeah. Multiverse. I have 200 hours in multiverses. A lot of this is idling, though. That's definitely idling. Fall Guys, Icons, Cyberpunk. Probably one of the Dark so Ooh, Sekiro? Probably Sekiro. I love Bloodborne, but I went back to try to play it, and I didn't like it. Because the um, frame rate. That's literally his, his frame rate. Pizza Tower? I don't... I gotta give it some time. You gotta give it a year. 
Give it. I have that much time at night in the woods. That's idling. Damn, Texas is already up there. I played Texas more than I played Lisa. <laughs> yeah, this isn't helping me. Yeah, now I'm just in the junk area, so. I don't know. This is where it gets a little weird. Mario 64? Disco Elysium? No. I mean, I like it, but I'm not really. I'm looking at my games now. I mean, Mario Party 2. Just to cover all the Mario Parties, probably Mario Party 2. Eternal Darkness? No. Probably not. Oh! Hmm? Probably Lammy. That covers all the Parappa likes. That covers all the other shit. Jet Set? I'll put Jet Set. Yeah. Probably. I haven't played it in a while, though, so it's like, it might be too old. If we're talking about also covering all the other versions, probably Tony Hawk 2. If we're, like, this covers the whole franchise, probably that. Silent Hill 2? No. But this... Three is better than two. Two is a better story. Three story isn't as good, but it's like better to play. Four is good. If you guys haven't played Silent Hill 4, it's good, except for the second half, which is a big, big escort mission. Burnout? What, Burnout 3? I probably should put League of Legends. Like, not because I want to, but because I have to, right? It took a, a fucking decade of my life. I'm clean now. I'm clean. I'm clean. Mother 3? No. I like Mother 3, but... No Mario platformers? Oh, true. Probably Mario 3. Probably, if I had to put one, it'd probably be Mario 3. 64 is good, too. No arms? No, come on. I love arms. Top 25 of all time? Relax. Fallout? Oh, true. But it's hard because Fallout 1 is one of my favorite games of all time, but I don't want to go back and play anymore. You know what I mean? Like, Fallout 1 is not fun to go back to. But I love that fucking game. That doesn't make it bad? Yeah. If I could play Fallout 1 but modernized on a Steam Deck without, like, the, the pointer or whatever, I would buy that in a fucking heartbeat. Five Nights at Freddy's? Fallout doesn't explain shit. The problem is that it's just... It's, not, it's very obtuse, but I think that's fine. It's just got a lot of points where it's like... There's a point in the first game where you get locked into a room. You get, like, abducted by mutants... And you get locked into a room with a general, and if you don't pass the speech check, you just die. And you have to go back to an old save. And, like, I know that's an old game moment, but I hate that shit. I got one more spot. Damn, I'm a scrimblo lover, bro. Gex. I know there's one that's, like, right outside of my... That I'm not thinking of. LMAO at speed check, game over. You know what's crazy? Uh, Disco Elysium, I've talked about this before, has a... Uh, had a skill check in it that you that had the same thing. They they updated it. Um, but before, there was one at the docks that if you didn't pass it, you just died. Or you didn't die, but you couldn't go anywhere. Metal Gear? No. Donkey Kong Country, but not Striker's Charge. Striker's Charge is up there. Daniel Mullins game? What, like Inscription? Did he make that? I love Inscription, but... Outer Wilds? No. Aren't you a Fall Guys champ? Yeah, but I don't know if it's in my top 25 of all time, you know? Banjo, your dog is literally named the character. Yeah, but I'm kind of falling out of love of Banjo-Kazooie. 
Not because I don't... I think it's still very good, but I don't know if I like it like that. Bloodborne, I think I like Sekiro more. Bloodborne, I would like more if it was in 60. I think Bloodborne is more interesting, probably a better game, but I really hate the 30 FPS. It's just old. Pump it up? No. Harvester? No. Harvester I do love, and I do appreciate what it represents for that time, but Command & Conquer? No. Twisted Metal is already up there. Sonic? I mean, Sonic honestly might like Sonic 3. Elden Ring? No. The last bit. Liza P? <laughs> hey, that's a great transition into tonight's sponsor. Uh, There's got to be one. WarioWare, you think? Katamari? No. Pikmin 2? No. Civ 5? Uh, I'm really stuck on this. What's my 25th favorite? I'm looking at my games now. Bucky O'Hare? <laughs> what game do I pop in? Aladdin for the Super Nintendo? Final Fantasy Tactics? Uh. You must put in <laughs> portals. The spell the Cuphead's already passed. up there, man! Rocket Knight Adventures? Hey. Now you're talking. Meet and fuck kingdom? Meet and huh? <laughs> Ain't no way, right? <laughs> Ain't no way, right? Meet and fuck kingdom, Steve. <laughs> Meet and huh? No, not Pizza Tower. A a top 25 of all time, dude? Come on. SNES Kirby? Maybe Kirby's Adventure. Which I don't think is as good as Superstar. Oh, no. Meat and Fuck Kingdom broke it. <laughs> oh, no. It's broken. Oh, my God. Is my internet down? Hello? Can I refresh this or will it die? I don't want to refresh it. I'm scared. Take a screenshot. Then I'm missing a... 25th game. Wait, so the site's down? Damn, my influence. You crashed the site, bro. <laughs> no way it's broken. I'm going to try to refresh it. Okay, it's good. Maybe Kirby Superstar, I guess? I don't know. Last of Us? No. I would really have to think about it, I think. Looking at my 64 games. I don't know. Strikers? Strikers is already up there. Sonic 1? No. Uncharted? Undertale? No. Put one game on twice for bait tweets? <laughs> Monkey Ball? That's close. Fuck, man. I'm trying to be sincere with this, too. Like, no bait or anything, you know what I mean? No dumb shit. Let me look at my PS2 library. Uh, I don't know. I'll put Banjo. Fuck it. I'll put Banjo. Because it meant a lot to me for a long time. It's fine. It deserves it. I'll give it up. This is not in order. All right? Not ordered. Save it. Okay. We did it. Go Banjo-Tooie. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no Banjo-Tooie. Yeah. Sekiro is my favorite Souls-like. That is until I try out tonight's sponsored bit of the stream. Fellas, we've got a bounty tonight, and I can't wait to tell all of you about it fellas we're gonna be playing lies of p tonight on stream right now who's ready for lies of p Woo! <laughs> we were supposed to do so much more tonight but that bracket took a long time we'll do it on tuesday wait is the mic broken okay actually excited me too Liza P is a brand new Souls-like game from a new developer, and I can't wait to give it a shot. It comes out on Tuesday. I guess we'll have to react on, uh... 
Wait, it's 10? Oh, it is 10. Yeah. I guess we'll have to react on Tuesday. We'll react on Tuesday. I got some reactioning. Actually, one thing we are doing on Tuesday, unironically, here, I need you guys to do something for... Oh, my God. The frame rate? Is it dying? Here's, here's what I want to do on Tuesday. Hold on. I want to buy these bootleg game consoles. So if you guys have any, save them. And on Tuesday, we're going to go through and buy some because we're going to play them, okay? We're doing that on Tuesday, all right? So on Tuesday, we're buying bootlegs to play the next week, the following week. I wanted to do that tonight, but we ran out of time because we talk because everything that I do takes more time than I think it will. All right. <laughs> All right. And then we'll do some reactioning also. But so I played this game as a bounty uh, a few months ago, I think, and it's very good. It's a Souls like kind of game, you know, Souls like combat, but it's about Pinocchio for some reason. And I hope that it saved my stuff. I don't know if it did. Yeah. Not Disney Pinocchio, yeah. But like, you know, Pinocchio Pinocchio. I guess I didn't save. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> okay. There are no benefits to claim. It's been back-to-back -back games. I'm having trouble keeping up. Dude, me too. I'm very excited. I, uh, so this game, uh, just, I think is coming out on Tuesday. It's not out yet. But I'm playing as Pinocchio, I guess, or something. But it's kind of like a Souls-like, you know, combat game, whatever, all that stuff. And the demo really impressed me. Oh, it comes out tomorrow? Oh, perfect. Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Well, this should inform your purchase. HH Greg is shut down. You're in the clear. Oh, thank God. Good. Bloodborne, but an actual frame rate. Well, I was saying that Bloodborne is... I love Bloodborne, but I hate, uh, you know, I hate the frame rate. So maybe this is, you know, Mom, the right answer. You are. I've been looking all over. Already you. want this thanks to Coney. Dude, it's good. It's fun. How do I run? I guess it's going to unlock running. It looks very pretty. Was this backed by a big publisher? I don't know. I don't think so. Let me see if it's on the bounty thing. Hold on. I was just excited when the bounty came up because I was playing this regardless. The most anticipated Souls-like game of 2023 is launched and it's available now on all platforms. Liza P is a thrilling Souls-like that takes the story of Pinocchio, turns his on its head, sets against the darkly elegant backdrop of the Belle Epoque era. Ten plus chapters and challenging bosses. City of Krat. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean not listening? I see they got Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. I don't like Jiminy. His, the name clearly says Gemini. I think that's a little, <laughs> it's a little bit of a stretch, but you know. Upper belt, lower belt, item, gesturing. I forget what it was. It was like... You have to like... So that's on lower belt, is the lamp. So I hit down... Yeah, and then X. There we go. Okay. It's very soulsy. Oh, Let's dude, very. And they they wear the inspiration on their sleeve. They're not like trying to hide from it, which I think is really cool. I think that's neat, because it's not like they're you know trying to pretend that it's not something but that the it is. Streets are not safe. Or it'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Get balanced dexterity strength. What did I do before? Probably just balance, right? Ah, but this is like... Not strength. Strength is... Because you're probably... Well... 
bastard sounds like you. Okay. <laughs> All right, funny guy. Good one. You did strength before? Well, because I don't want to, like... I, what, it was in Elden Ring. Strength builds were awful. And now I think I'm a little gun shy. I usually just go strength, though. No, they weren't. No, I don't mean strength builds. Sorry, I mean strength weapons. Like power weapons in Elden Ring, like the big things that you have to swing because every character strikes so fast. We'll go balance. I'll change it later. Yeah, I don't. I didn't mean strength builds. I meant like strength, like whatever. They were meta even. Were they? Wait, are you talking PvP? I'm not talking PvP. I don't play PvP. Is this game a PvP? <laughs> Jump attacks were broken. Oh, I know. It broke the goddamn game. Oh, is that my parry? I don't know attack, special attack. No, don't turn. I hit the, the Sekiro button. Alright, maybe performance mode isn't the play. That kind of blurred everything for a second. Oh my god, it feels better. It feels a little, uh... How do I put it? Like, your sword just kind of goes through the guy, but... Oh my god, I'm covered in oil already. Ew. This game actually looks cool. If you like Souls games, seriously, give it a shot, because I, I, unironically, was like, eh, it's probably going to be, like, a little... I don't know. It's probably going to be like a ripoff kind of thing, and they're not going to do it as well. I played some Souls likes before. This one's good. At least the little bit that I played, and now it's getting good reviews. How's the rolling? Feels a little clunky, but. I think that was my biggest issue with the demo is that the rolling and the bosses felt kind of annoying, but. I wanted the surge to be good. The surge was good for the first, like, hour. And then it just, all the bosses were really bad. They want you to parry. Is this the parry? I think that's the parry. So the way the game works is, I think we'll do it in a second, but so at the bottom left, I don't know if you could see it, but there's like a little meter with the left arm, and you have to do this for weapon durability, which I think is so cool. So you have to basically charge your thing back up. I think that's neat because it makes it so like if you fight a boss for a long time you have to find a place to like heal that back up if a guard succeeds right before being hit triggers perfect guard oh like Sekiro that's what it is so if you tap it at the right time you don't lose yeah Okay, well, that that's my least favorite thing about Souls games. <laughs> What's happening right there? I hate that shit. Surely we could have left that in the past. Ow! Oh my god, I'm about to die. I didn't even look at my HP. Holy shit. But I originally played this game because I thought it would be bad and dumb and funny. And then it was good. And I was like, oh, jeez. <laughs> but it's good and funny because it's very, like... I don't know how to put it. It's silly. You'll see why. What was the last good Souls-like game? Elden Ring? <laughs> if you mean other than uh, actual Souls, Surge 2 is very good. Surge 2 is a great game. I always liked Wo Long. Oh, did that game come out? I didn't think that came out. It's campy while still having a serious tone, yeah. Once we get to the lying part, you'll see what I mean. I thought that was funny. Yeah, Jedi Survivor was pretty good. 
I didn't like it as much. I thought the second game wasn't nearly as good as the first one, but... Did you play Armored Core? Yeah, I'm, I played to, like, Chapter 2. I'm at the boss of Chapter 2, and I have no desire to boot it back up. Like, I like it, but I don't... I don't know. I don't want to keep playing. And it's not because I kept dying on it. I haven't even tried it yet. I just... I don't know. I thought this game comes out in like two days. It does. It comes out tomorrow, apparently. But they gave me a copy early through a bounty. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Lucky me. I'm excited. Yeah, it's good. Doors and ladders locked by devices. Uh, shortcuts. Yeah, yeah. Let me go heal back up. It gets better at the halfway point. What, armored core? Wait, where was the thing that I healed at? The, the Am I crazy? <laughs> did I miss it? Maybe I didn't save. I don't think I've saved yet. Dunkey called it a turn your brain off game. Well, I did too. So when I played Armor Core, I literally just hold all the but the uh, bumper buttons and just wait until something dies. That's all I did. And I don't think that's true because a lot of people say there's a lot more to the game. There's like, uh, there's, um, like you have to pick the right tool for the job and customize your mech or whatever. But I did not do that. I just picked whatever the strongest thing at the time was for me. And it worked great. Fuck me. Okay, I did something there. No, 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 don't heal. Well, that's fine. Hold for a charge attack, staggerable. While you're attacking, a white outline will appear. When this happens, you can make the enemy stagger with a charge attack. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fatal attack face a staggered enemy. This. Is he stagger? Stagger. Yeah! Let's go. Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> You can scale your fun by what build you choose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not a mech guy. That's my thing. So, like, I, I feel like I'm not the right guy for that. But I am a, uh, a Souls guy. And apparently I'm a Pinocchio guy because I dig this game a lot. So, oh, whoops, I have the key. I got to go back down. So it's Dark Souls and Sekiro, wasn't it more Bloodborne in the demo? I think it's Bloodborne in tone. I think it's Sekiro in just that, like, there's perfect parrying. But I don't know if it causes stagger like it does in Sekiro, you know what I mean? I think we should stop comparing it. That's right, Shaq fan. It's Lies of P, available tomorrow. You think Geppetto's the final boss? Probably the final boss, right? But it's souls rolling, right? Yeah, I need to do that. I'm I'm Sekiro pill, bro. I I just try to like parry everything instead of rolling. But I think it's only because I played that the most recently. I got to the monkey fight, <laughs> and I just kind of fell off it again. But it's Monstro. I really hope there's shit like that. Monstro Stromboli fight. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. Gather ergo that the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever. So be. Uh, vitality, vigor. What's vigor? Strength? Yeah. Capacity. Motivity. Oh, yeah, I forgot what motivity is. That's just like agility, right? It's the same thing as technique. They're doing the same thing. 
I should probably look these up. Strength dex. What, that's both? Is there a contextual help button? Yeah, I think... No? There's not. Winnie the Pooh souls. Motivity is how motive you are. Oh, thanks. Okay. Yeah, my weapon scales from both technique and motivity. They seem to do the same thing. So I'll put one in both. <laughs> Fine. I'll put one in both because one will scale better later. Save Krat in honor of Valentinus. You picked the balanced weapon? Yeah. I should have gone strength. That's usually what I do. Is just dump all my power. Or all my points into power. Yeah, my bad, everybody. We were supposed to react tonight. I should have known that I would have taken three hours to do a bracket. <laughs> We'll do it on uh we'll do it on Tuesday. There's a lot to react to also. I don't d dude, I wanted to finish the Omsa video. We're halfway through that shit. No F0 either. Vince is going to starve? No, we'll be fine. We have a lot this week. I'm popping a web surf on Wednesday. I'm only telling you guys that cuz you're staying for the bounty. <laughs> He'll be fine. He gets this bracket for su Saturday, or for Friday, right? He turns this into Friday. Wednesday, we get web surf. Tuesday, we do some reactioning. Wait, is there a guy up there? Oh, it's a suit. Right? And maybe rat race. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I'll have to hit up Jacob. Is he turning Riptide into a vid? No! <laughs> that was... And I actually felt really bad about Riptide after. I was like, why was that so boring? Was that my fault? <laughs> and then everybody was like... And, and then I saw a bunch of other people saying it was kind of boring. I was like, okay. I felt bad. I was like, am I just... Did, was I an asshole? Like, I couldn't make it fun? But no, it just... It was kind of a dull finish. Oh, I thought that was like a... Uh, yeah. What was Riptide again? It, the finals were uh, Mutace Aaron. It was a good tournament. Felt like everybody had a good time. The top eight was just kind of a sleeper. You made it bearable? I didn't even do anything. You guys just talked about gorilla or <laughs> orangutans for eight hours. I didn't say anything. Who won Melee? I think Plup did, yeah. That's why we didn't put it up, unironically, because it would have just been, like, if you have to make a 20-minute video out of a top eight, if eight minutes of them are orangutan posting. We talked about one very special orangutan. That's true. Dude, I don't know how I feel about the orangutan thing, because people have, like, DM'd me. They're like, wow, it's such a funny bit. I asked my friends about it. I'm like, that's not my bit. I didn't come up with it. Apparently it was on a podcast and one of my viewers asked me once and I became uh, obsessed. Where is it from? I think it's from Comedy Bang Bang or something. It's from a podcast. Do you have a time for tomorrow? Oh, hold on. I hit up John. Guys, we're cooking something very big soon. <laughs> and I'm telling you that because it's uh it's you guys are the bounty friends. Uh, Vince, can you do two tomorrow? What is the orangutan bit? Nice try, chatter. <laughs> I'm doing a bounty. I do not hear it. Let's do 2 p.m. tomorrow. His ass is cooking. Dude, I'm so tired. Th the reason I'm doing this, I, I have like eight ideas I'm cooking up at any given time. This one doesn't require anybody else. The original idea of it did, this one does not. And I'm so fucking tired of not doing big things. I'm so fucking tired of waiting on other people to, to make a decision or get back to me or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm going solo on this one. I'm just glad it's moving forward. It's a big one. 
I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it's a streamathon. Not a subathon. It's gonna be a long stream. Very long stream. What is this? <laughs> Bro, they didn't warn me about that shit. Uh, Fable. Uh, oh, yeah, Fable Arts. Right, the Fable Arts. Dude, I hate that move. Or thinks I'm gonna die in front of all these people. I can't. Shit. Fuck! Oh! Okay. Uh oh, stagger move. Chop, chop, chop! Coney doesn't read and then complains. <laughs> Listen, if they can... Oh, shit. Add right now. Add happening right now. If you don't want to add, subscribe to Twitch Prime. If you don't want Twitch Prime, then tier one. If you don't want to tier one, then enjoy the ads. <laughs> Do you play as Pinocchio or are you killing them? I think I'm Pinocchio. This game could do a twist thing, though, where, like, obviously you think you're Pinocchio, but then it turns out that I'm gonna go kill Pinocchio, you know what I'm saying? How come your nose doesn't get bigger? I haven't lied yet. It's called Lies of P. Give it some time. What is the Blade Fable Arts? Oh, shit! I'm gonna use my blade fable art. Oh wait, no, I don't have any power to do it anymore. Wait, oh yeah, I forgot. This game, uh, the cool thing about this game, I forgot about this. So you actually can get your health back by killing stuff. So if you look at the top in the in the left, you know how in Hollow Knight you get like some resource back um do i need to jump on anything yeah and you can heal from it you can do that in this game which is awesome so you get to heal back just by like winning a fight so it's not quite like bloodborne the rallying system or whatever but i think it's a sick system because it encourages you to take more risks the nig the Nigni's Urgent Repair Tool. That probably just fixes my thing, right? Can I fix that here? Oh, sick. Okay. I think that G is silent. Veninis. <laughs> Relax. It's a bounty. Take it easy. <laughs> Come on. Is the orangutan incentivized to kill me, or is it neutral? Uh, he is driven by a force to kill you. It, he will not rest until you're dead. Or he's dead. But why an orangutan? What do you mean stunlocked? I answered one question. What are you talking about? It is silent like the G in orangutan. Oh, true. Yeah. She pee on my soul till we're lying together. Is that what she does? <laughs> she does that chatter? You could try again. <laughs> Take another shot at it. Very incorrect loud buzzer. Should I heal back up? See, I can't play these games because my dumb ass gets lost. I, dude. Were any of you guys around for the Bloodborne stream? It was a very long time ago. Does anyone remember the plaza moment? <laughs> no? Yeah, go to the plaza. Yeah. Ritzler, I didn't know you were in here. Ritzler, I, I just wanted to say congrats on the success, dude. Seriously. I, I haven't been able to... You, you dude, um, Pseudo Regalia has killed it. Seriously. Congratulations. I see people talk about that shit everywhere. Good shit. 
if you guys don't know, Ritzler made pseudo regalia, which was big on Steam. Really popped off. Ritz made that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. I don't want to misspeak. But I'm really... Dude, good shit. Seriously. That's amazing. Ritzler is a long-time viewer, bro. We've been around for a long time. That game is tight. Yeah, it's... it's I have not gotten around to it, obviously, because there are a million fucking games. But I keep seeing people talk about it. I'm like, oh, that's sick. Every time I see it, I'm like, that's, that is awesome. What game? It's called Pseudo Regalia on stream, on uh, Steam. I think it's, don't let me misspeak, but I think it's like a Metroidvania kind of deal. But it's like a, it's a 3D one. And the movement system is really sick. 3D platform in Metroidvania, yeah. I'm doing a bounty during the bounty. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to Karat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figured. Was this guy here before the in the demo? I don't think it was. Ritzler coming up in eight years? Hell yeah. That's my guy. Who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Ritzler from way back. Whatever it happened to Patrick from way back, I still don't know who that is. I'm curious. I never knew who that was. Do you guys know who I'm talking about? There was a guy in the PM era that said his name was Patrick from way back. And he would always come up and be like, yo, it's me, Coney. It's Patrick from way back. And I'd be like, yo, it's Pat. And I don't know anybody named Patrick. But his whole bit is he would pop into people's stream and say he's, he's Patrick from way back. And everybody would be in on the bit, and he would pop into all the players' streams, and we would all say that we knew him. Aha, those times were crazy, huh, Pat? And I don't know who he was. It was a very funny bit. I would love to know who that was. It was extremely funny. Everybody would play along with it. It was very good. Is that my boy, Patty G? <laughs> Yo! I think I go Vitality, bro. I need... Uh, stamina, Capacity. I think Capacity helps your... Yeah, that helps your roll, right? Because, like... I'll do Motivity. Fuck it. Because, like, then you'll be lighter, so you won't have a heavy roll or a medium roll. Introducing the Parade Puppet. <laughs> Here appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to the Parade Master. Okay. I like the speed run of that guy from Crash Bandicoot. Dude, that wasn't even a bit. That guy was just fucking. I will never forget that night. That was crazy. Oh, this is the first boss. I think I killed this guy first try, bro. First time. And now I'd be embarrassed if I don't. Does the broadsword despawn when the orangutan dies? Ooh, I like that question, because you could use it for next year. No, you get to keep it. Although you could just buy a uh, broadsword. Fuck! Oh my god, okay. Yup. Oh, this guy's the Parade Master. Oh no, I did. I meant to do Upper Belt. Okay. Maybe you can't dodge that fast. Yeah, the rolling still does feel a little weird, but I might just need to get used to it. Oh my god. Need my stamina? Stamina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Okay. No! I forgot about the cage move! Fuck. 
No. He's staggerable. Oh, he is, isn't he? Uh, let's go! <laughs> okay. All right, hit him in the head. Do the chops. Yeah! Okay. Do I not have my... Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I did not hit him there. Oh, I'm dead. I hit the wrong button. I tried to use my, my fabled arts or whatever. I didn't have any ready. No, no, no! Shit, dude. Okay. I'm dead. Okay, okay. And he's gonna talk puppetees to me. Yeah. Lie or die? Oh, by the way. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Oh, dude, I had to alt tab. So when you, when it loads, it says now lying in the bottom right, which is the funniest thing I've ever seen. It's very funny. You take a ton of chip on block? I didn't even notice. Yeah, so you, uh, here, I'm gonna put my cam up a little bit so you can see it. Um, yeah, that, they really want you to do the parry. I still don't know how this shit works. Maybe that's the right play. It has the thing where you, uh, I, you don't really dodge roll. You just kind of sidestep it. Which maybe means I need to tap it twice. I don't know. You get stamina back mad fast, though. Low stamina? Yeah, but you get it back very quickly. Oh, no. Am I dead? Fuck. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, the chip damage you get back. It's like the rally system in Bloodborne. Oh, no. I missed the stagger. Love this. Love that. Dude. Okay. Okay. This really is the Bloodborne 2 you're expecting it to be? Dude, it's better than anybody could have expected. Which is crazy to me. It's getting good reviews from everybody. And I feel like Souls games look easy, but apparently they're really hard because nobody does them right. I'm very happy. Fuck. Okay. Second try. Good enough. Okay. I feel like Souls games are very hard to make. You know what I mean? Because a bunch of people try it, but... I'm editing clips right now. There's an absolutely insane from one of the casters there. Once you hear it, you will never unhear it. It's it's so bad. And I say it from a place of I've done it before. I've been that guy. I get it. I'm going to love the meeting tomorrow. I have a banger idea. All right. I'm excited. <laughs> That's what it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The lie is red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that. Don't lie. Lying is bad. I think you have to. I think that's what we found out last time. But yeah, I, I am a big fan of Lies of P. If you guys like Souls games, I would absolutely give it a shot. And I'd be saying this whether they were paying me or not, but they are paying me, which is nice. Probably won't be playing it on stream anymore. There's too much shit to play on stream. Dude, Party Animals comes out, I think, tomorrow or Tuesday, too. That game's also very good, but they're not paying me to play that, so I shouldn't talk about it right now. <laughs> but you should play Lies of P. Side stream? Yeah, 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 probably. Is this a good intro to Souls games? Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say, but... 
Oh, here we go. <laughs> Puppet or human? So when you lie, something happens. And we don't know what it is yet. I wonder if it's like the curse from Sekiro or whatever, but I don't know. Forcing you to lie and then doing that would be different, but... I don't know how to get to the secret stream. Dude, it's not hard to find. <laughs> it's, it's not difficult. Zoom in on his nose? Wait. I did just lie. That shit looks the same, bro. Cute as a button. Have we figured out what the lies of P are? Well, we did one lie of P, which was saying that I was a human. And not a, uh... Not a puppet. That's my one lie of P so far. Very dramatic, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how tongue-in-cheek or campy the game is, but I love it. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> Thank you, Zeref. Thanks for the tier one. This game is fucking awesome. I love it. Okay, I don't think this was in the demo. I don't remember this. Huh? I love this world, though. It's not like... Ste I don't really like steampunk. I guess it's kind of steampunky, but... Something about this aesthetic is neat. Yeah. It's Bioshock. I think Bioshock is like Art Deco. I don't think this is Art Deco, but it's like just, you know. It's not Victorian. Is it Victorian? Is that what you would call it? I don't know. There's a word for it. It feels like infinite, yeah. Ah, so they made robots servants, and the robots rebelled. Okay. The puppets are evil. <laughs> sure. Okay. Kind of carnival-like in a way. Dude, I hope so. I hope there's a pleasure island in this game. I'm, I'm unironically very excited for that. What a cool game, man. Like... I love evil carnivals. Me too. I just like carnivals, period. But I hope the whale is in this. Probably. I hope the cricket is in this. He is already. He's in my backpack. Oh, now lying. It's lying. It's lying right now. 100% lying. <laughs> it's like you guys when you say that you don't have a prime to spare. Eat hot chip fast. Should change the healing item, man. I'm so happy to see you. I. It is so funny that they turned the blue fairy into like the level up maiden. All over this, you must have questions. That's very funny. On Elysian Boulevard, all of Crot is dangerous. Yeah, she's the doll. Yeah. Please find Geppetto and Elysian. I just, I, I actually, I think it's charming how shameless it is. You know what I mean? It, like, wears the inspirations, but it's confident enough to be like, no, but we do it well. Like, if the game wasn't good, I think it would be a lot more shitty. But it's good, and it's like, oh, okay, that's fine. You don't have to change it if you just do it well. Do I, uh... I'll just up HP. Uh, we go damage. Love a good damage. I think 
think he's in shock. Jenny is fine. That proof you're broken. The real Jenny isn't so calm. I'm no inventor. But perhaps I can If the game wasn't good, it would be a lot more but shitty. Perhaps, yeah. Wait. Unironically. If a game wears its influences proudly and is still able to stand on its two feet, that's fine. If a game wears influences and sucks, it, it looks bad. It's just annoying, you know? There's a fucking old guy in a chair, you know? Like, oh, it's a lady. Never mind. Unexpected guests. <laughs> we don't insist on reservations. I am Antonia. No. I knew from the moment we met that you were Geppetto's puppet. He did have a few loose screws. Geppetto's a shame. If he doesn't turn up soon, oh, it comes with a long... He's fine, I told you. Someone's memory show off clothes. People have no idea. Thanks for keeping. <laughs> Curious about lying. Hmm. I see you're here. Your lives are a rare ability. You're able to choose your own path, unbound by anything. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. Love. Uh huh. I'm an old friend of. Make yourself at home if you have any questions. Is your movement really slow? Yeah, I mean walking speed seems slow. You can run, which has the old souls thing where you uh hold dodge which i don't really like i would rather click the thumbstick but maybe that's in the game too is jumping yeah that's what it is so the jump is the old thing where you hold run and then left click or click left stick you might be able to switch it yeah welcome to hotel croft my name is polandina please let me know at hotel croft welcome to Ho Fable Catalyst, Supplement Papa Rapidly Charges Fable. Charges an arm's ability, saw toothed wheel, and then uh, thrown to draw an enemy's attention. That shit's a rock. Okay. Awful jump input. Yeah, I don't know why they kept that. I don't know who preferred that. You know what I mean? I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see How the hell do you say that name? Wow. Eugenie? You should take this. Yeah, you got it. Oh, sick. Thank you. Oh, and you have the, the, the arm thing, too. You know the one. Legion arm is a thing. Combat ability. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah. The string is like you could pull things, I think. Like you pull in enemies, which is like very funny. Yeah. Arms? Yeah. This place is big. Jesus. This shit look like a secret, bro. Why is this all... This definitely turns around. Little secret ass door. Can I jump and die? No. Okay. I just wonder if there's fall damage in games. You get a key later for sure? Oh, definitely. Try attacking? Oh, true. Like an illusory wall? Wise shatter. There's a practice range, yeah. I think I remembered that. Let me try attacking that wall. I don't think anything's gonna happen, but... Oh, you can't attack. <laughs> Whoops. Is the protagonist Timothy Chalamet? Dude, a few people have said that. He, It looks just like him, right? It's the hair and the, the, the physique. I don't think it was intentional, though. I think this pulls, but it doesn't work because he's... Yeah, because they're... Stuck. Free four channel visitors, just roll trail to rebuild some offense. That should sound like a Resident Evil puzzle. Coney, what's the biggest lie you've ever told? I'm not going to tell you that. You're going to tell everybody else. 
I would tell you if I could trust you, but I can't trust you, chat. Because you would blab about it. His story times. <laughs> I have one more story time that I've I've been going on and off about making. And I'll leak it because there's 1,200 people here. Um, uh, should I leak it? No. I have a story time that I've been thinking about making. but I, it, And I think it'd be funny, but I don't like it as much. Leak it for the true fans. Should I? Brawl stories are the best. I wanted to have a, a story time of a collection of stories. And I, I don't think I'm going to do it, which is why I'm telling you. A collection of stories, like confessions of a washed up smasher. And the idea is, there's a moment in every Smash player's life where he's like, okay, I can't do this anymore. And I had about four sets that were... I've, I've had four sets in my life that, like, changed my course in the game. <laughs> like an anthology, yeah. Just, like, story times of, like, my most embarrassing losses. Which are very funny. I think it's a very funny idea. I've told the stories individually on stream a couple times. But... I think there's some I think I think there's a funny way to do it. Yeah. No, Mewtwo King set isn't one of them. Cuz like losing to a good player is is whatever. These were like times I lost to like like one of the stories is I was uh it was Smash 4, right? Smash 4 had just come out. I didn't know what character I was playing. I just ended up on Pac-Man cuz I thought he was funny and I went to like my first or second local and I fought against the Diddy Kong, and the Diddy Kong was 14, and I was like 26, 26, he was 14, and he beat me with Diddy Kong just doing down throw up air, and he popped the fuck off because I was a known figure, <laughs> and it was humiliating. <laughs> and there's more to the story than that, but I just couldn't do anything. I, I just, I, I literally couldn't do anything to Diddy Kong. It was bad. Was it stream? No. But there was a big crowd. <laughs> we'll talk later. There are a lot of people watching. Pre-patch Diddy was absurd. I thought it was the Sonic set where you went DDD. Oh, there's a bunch. There's a bunch of stories of me losing in very embarrassing ways. I thought it'd be fun to, you know, talk about a couple, but... Down tilt up air is still the most insane thing to me. Wait, was that real? <laughs> Could he do that? I don't remember that. Were you a well-known figure back then? Uh, yeah, because of PM. So, in PM, it was like... I was a nobody in PM, and then I started playing the game. I was big in Brawl, and then uh, Brawl dies, and people start playing PM. And I was like, I don't want to play PM. And then I started playing PM... And, you know, it took me, like, six months to get good or whatever. And I started doing commentary. And everybody was like, shut up, white boy. Where are the other commentators? Um, and they would just ask for the other ones. So by Smash 4, I kind of had, like, a name. You know what I mean? People knew that I was good in PM. Uh, which only made it more humiliating because I was bad at Smash 4. <laughs> the other ones? Wow. Well, when I say the other commentators, I don't want to name them because people get weird in chats. You know the ones I'm talking about. Think about who would come to Xanadu's and visit during that time. I don't mind naming Smash figures of the past, but you know how people are. Where's Seagull Joe and Riz live? Seagull Joe's got two kids. He still plays, apparently. He still goes to locals and shit. Uh, he's just not good. Which is crazy to me. I, I don't know how he has the fortitude to play the game, and he used to be better at it. That would eat me up inside. I can't play those games anymore because I get so annoyed. 
play for the love of the game. Yeah, I can't do it. Because in my brain, I'm like, dude, if I had the same time as you to play this game, because I know what you're going to do, I just can't punish it because I'm not good enough. I know you're doing this, but I'm going to miss my punish, and then you're going to kill me for it. So I can't do anything. I hate that feeling. I, Seagull has has uh, a better sense of self than I do. Because my ass could not do that. Blame the game? Problem solved? Well, then what am I doing playing the game? Why am I wasting my time going to this local when I hate to get... You know what I mean? So you're never coming back to Street Fighter 6? No, I love Street Fighter 6, but only because I didn't play it competitively. <laughs> I'm not good at Street Fighter. I have no ego about Street Fighter. I have ego in Smash because I was good at two games. Like... Which makes me think I should be good at the third game. You know what I mean? I'm not good at Street Fighter, and I know it. But I do get mad sometimes, but it's not mad at the game. It's mad at myself for not knowing how to beat shit. You know? Good eight years ago? Longer. <laughs> well, no, it was eight. It was nine. 2014 was the last time I was good at a game. 2015, I guess, PM. It's been a while. She has two kids and feels amazing. You have one kid and feel like awful. Coincidence? I, you, what you're telling me is I need to have another kid. That's all I hear. Now you're just Mr. Games. No, no, I was good at Fall Guys. Oh, that is that is true. I forgot. I was good at Fall Guys. And I think I was pretty good at Nickelodeon. I think if I did Nickelodeon tournaments, I would have done pretty well. I was pretty good at multiverses. I was nice at multiverses. Come on. I was nice. You got to give it up. And F099. That's true. Thank you, Chatter. Very true. I was actually sad I didn't go to Evo for multi uh, multiverses because, dude, they paid out to, like, top 32. Like, I could have made back my Evo trip just winning two sets. Oh, my God. Holy shit. All right, that guy was strong. Holy hell, dude. All right, my bad. My bad, everybody. I got to focus. Is it multiverse is just, like, gone now? It's unplayable. They're coming back in December, I think, they said. They're, like, rebooting the game. Which is weird because they said it was an early access before, and now they're just saying it was, it's a straight-up, like, you know, reboot or something, so... It is playable offline, yeah. That game is not coming back. No, I think it is. But I think it will be later. I don't know if it's coming back, you know. Uh, dude, you take a lot of chip damage. Um, I don't know if it's coming back in December, like they say. Oh, wait, I forgot. I had the puppet stri- Oh, my God, I'm going to lose all my souls. I'm sorry, my ergo... Yo! That is so cool. I love that. Do it again. Gotcha! <laughs> but yeah, I really liked Multiverses. Uh, we'll see how it does when it gets back. But you know what I like more? Lies of P. Available tomorrow... For each and every one of you. Is it out at midnight? It might be out by by midnight. What time is it now? 11.05? Maybe in an hour? Huh? Thanks, DJ Hardwood. Multiverse is 100% coming back. The game has legs. The team didn't have the manpower. I think it's a number of different things, but it would all be speculation. I, you know, I don't know anything about this. I was not close with the Multiverse's team. I don't know, you know, take this all with a grain of salt. They said that WB deal didn't change anything. I think they ass was lying, bro. I don't think it affected the game directly. Like, I don't think it, like, shut them down or anything. But I think that that WB, the Max deal or whatever, made it so they couldn't get the licenses they wanted. 
So, like, yeah, you're not getting shut down, but you're not getting, like, the big names. We lost Gandalf? Yeah. See? Gandalf, uh, some other characters that I don't want to, you know, get in trouble for leaking. or I don't know what is known or not known by the public. So I'm not trying to be an asshole, you know, but some characters got dropped. Dude, it's a weird system in this game having it so chip damage is, what do you, are you meant to dodge, you think? Like, am I not supposed to do this? Much blocking? I feel like I'm playing the game wrong. I think you just have to parry. Then it's harder than I thought it was. Engage. Ah, shortcut. Okay. Perfect parry, yeah. Uh, is there perfect block? Yeah, so if you hit it at the right time, it blocks. But the window's pretty tight. So I'm kind of surprised, you know? Alright, bro. Wait! Wait. No, no, no. Oh my god. Wait. That gives me an idea. Dude, come on. Okay, he doesn't get pulled. <laughs> well, I had a cool idea. Jesus Christ, dude. Maybe I can make him fall, right? Oh my god. Jesus, this guy's beating my ass. He'll stagger soon. Fuck! Ah, I thought the game wouldn't kill me off chip. So what I was trying to do is get my block up again. If I could get my block up again, then he couldn't kill me off chip, you know? <sighs> yeah, I have the shortcut now. I didn't even get my block up, though, so... Right, let's get up there and kill him. Can you full-on parry instead of perfect block? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Because this is the only thing. The only other button is this. Wait, I could do this? Wait, I could just... Fuck. I want to do something funny. Here we go. Gotcha! No! <laughs> gotcha! I think I did that during the demo and it worked. Did you pick up better armor? Oh shit, I think you're right. <laughs> Wait. I think I did. Oops. Did I? I have defense parts. Uh, enhanced puppet frames, absorb physical damage. No way. Okay, those are better. Costume. <laughs> oh, they're just costumes. It's not armor. I guess the game doesn't have armor. Defense parts. Physical reduction rate. Oh, these up your weight by a lot. So you can pick which one you want to do. This is the lightest one. I'll go balanced. My roll is still fine. Yeah, it's Fashion Souls, yeah. Chop him! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay, I should not have done that. No way! Oh, well, that's Liza P, everybody. Maybe I'll kill this guy. Why don't you go kill him for me? Uh, check out Krat and try Liza P. Available soon. Okay, bounty's done. <laughs> Fucking game. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. I might, uh, Tito hit me up to play some party animals. I might be playing some party animals. I think I'm going to pop on the other stream, though. 
Yeah, side stream. Might do some party animals. If you guys don't know the side stream, uh, it's in the sub Discord. So you just go over there, and I'll post the link in there. Because uh, I'm trying to play. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to check on Mal, because Mal had COVID, like I said. So, Fun stream. I had a good time tonight. Sorry the Nintendo thing took so long. I had some other shit I wanted to do reactioning. But thanks for sticking around during the bounty, fellas. I'll see you guys um, Tuesday. Maybe tomorrow. I I've been streaming a lot more. I've been having fun on, like, the side thing. We'll do it. Uh, I can't do cats because it's going to get claimed. Goodbye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night. Get into the sub Discord with the prime sub. Yes, you can. All you have to do is hit exclamation point Discord and sync it with your Discord. Sync it with your Discord and you'll be able to do it. Okay.